frame rate. Cool. What's up, everybody? My name is Jelani here. We're Fighting Wombat, and we are doing the Wizarding World in review. This week, for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one. Joining me, we finally have a third. Peter. Peter. And Collier. That's right, Collier. <sighs> Deathly Hallows. Release date, November 10th, 2010. It was 2010? 2010. Whoa. There's a little bit of a break in between the last one. Yeah. Now it's a... Production budget? Remember when you in high school. Rumored numbers, of course. More numbers than one that actually released these numbers. For some reason. $250 million. Worldwide gross of $960 million. So I don't know why they wouldn't want to release it. Dude, I could have swore I heard these numbers last time. The well, exact same numbers. They're very similar numbers. <laughs> Very similar. It's like right, everyone who went to go see the last one saw this one. That's all. Two fifty. <laughs> this audience did not grow or shrink. It was just it just stagnated. Yeah. <laughs> it straight across. Uh, and a runtime of two hours and thirty minutes. Jesus yeah. Christ. <sighs> I don't know why, but every time I started Harry Potter movies, like all right, it's another two hour one. Like all right, I'm just gonna hit pause. It's like all right, so, two hours. Let's do before it. Before we get into this thing, uh-huh. I want to point out that some of us here did the homework. Required. Some of us did the required uh, reading, and some of us kind of just skimmed over it. I didn't skim over it. Yeah, okay. He didn't do it in all, at all. I was trying to give him something. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't skim it. You're just gonna I watched it like so. I sat down and watched the whole thing like a day, like a year ago. About a year ago. So he has ago. some memory to work on here. All I remember is the first hour. Then was... Let me tell you. I'm not. I'm not liking this movie. Mm. I don't like this movie. Why not? Uh, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll get into it and we'll find out why. You already know my reasons why I don't like it. Yeah, but your reason is like, oh, you're connected to characters. My reason is like, man, nothing happens. Mm-hmm. This is well, Harry Potter <laughs> in the Search for the MacGuffins Part One. This is so. Uh, this is what I was so afraid of. What like Infinity War? Because this is like the bad version, like the Part One, Part Two thing. And then like, no, when the Infinity War is like, oh wait. You can actually have a part one and just make that a complete story, and then you're like, alright, there's soon comes something next. It's almost like how a sequel works, you know? Yeah. Like, you, uh, every story is essentially a part one if it has a sequel be- after it. Yeah. This, was the- no, <laughs> it is kind of like, ah, it was a trailer for part two, gotcha! <laughs> it's like, I spent, so much, I spent money on this. It's like, why? Okay, no, to be uh, quite honest, I was watching this, and I, I remember part of the beginning, middle parts like, poof. And that last part, like, okay, I remember that part yeah, you don't for remember, specific reasons. You remember Jack shit. I don't remember them. All I remember is them running for, like, a good two hours. See, you say running for two hours, but they only really run for this movie in, like, five a five-minute scene. The rest of it is just them walking everywhere. Okay, I mean, yeah, the movie feels long. They're, they're moving yeah. from place they're to moving. place. They're moving. They're, like, they're running. They're not running, they're running no, There's away. actually one running scene, and yeah. we'll get to that scene later on and how it does work and doesn't work all at the same time. It's very surprising. But, yeah, it is. So, should we uh, get down to this spot? Have you watched any of the videos that we've done this as well? No. No. You, have, you, you, have, you don't know how the wizarding world works. So, no. what we essentially do. What I essentially do. Okay. Do it. We break down. I'm going to break down. Plot. We're going plot, We're going beat by beat in this plot, bad boy, right? So, okay. strap in. <laughs> but don't worry for this plot because not, it's not that important. It's, yeah. it's kind of it's kind of loose, this one. Not that dense. It's a long movie for some reason. Yeah. But a lot of stuff uh, cut out. So... Unnecessary right. subplots. I could have been I could have been playing Spider Man. I could have <laughs> been playing Spider Man again. New Game Plus just came out, and I was like, no, I gotta sit down and watch this goddamn movie. Oh, it came out, huh? New Game Plus. Oh, I forgot about that. Did you? So okay, so PS Four. Yeah. I got Spider Man. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, me too. It was a really great good game. Yeah. Good, 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 good game. Good It's a good game. Great Spider Man game. I say better than Batman. And personally, for ooh, me, ooh, better ooh, than that's, Batman. That's, that's, ooh, mm, that's, that's okay, personal. You know, I, 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 I saw, me, I saw a thing. He hasn't seen it yet, so we're not. I saw a thing okay, okay. on like Facebook or somewhere. It's like, oh hey, Spider Man versus <laughs> Batman <laughs> Arkham series. Like, See, here's the problem with this hey, movie's hey, plot. Hey, easy. Here's the problem with this movie's plot. Yeah. We so quickly went to the fucking <laughs> podcast. We went into the podcast. We forgot. Hey, we're doing Wizarding World, so we are. <laughs> Let's, okay, Great. so we open up to the scene, right? Fucking. What, what was the opening scene? What the fuck? Oh, man. Uh, it's dark, dim times. Let me tell you, really dark because you still can't see shit. Um, 
Was it the speech with the minister, or was it people like re, uh, going to um, fucking I don't know? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the speech with the minister, and I'm gonna break it down my own way. Fuck this movie. I remember. <laughs> I, thought I, thought was, I remember the worst thing. Like, I, I they don't. They barely say any words. They leave. Whatever. But anyway. They leave. But man, yeah. I hope that is the no, no. last time I see them. I said this like no. many movies before. I like, remember where the movie. No, the the, the, the these. The, I remember the movie. People. I remember what works. So. so we're on a black screen, right? Uh huh. You know what? It's not a black screen. The movie just sharp, fucking dark as hell. <laughs> you can't see anything. You hear the flying of the de- Death Eater, but you can't see it because everything's dark. The Death Eater is fucking black. I don't know why it has any lights here. Like, there's a moon, people. You can have a little. You can have clouds and still have a moonlight shining through and show me something. No, you can't see shit. Fuck this movie. <laughs> no. Anyway, guess what? Who it is? It's fucking Snape. He's walking down the cellar. He's on like, oh, a boss ass bitch. That's right. He just opens up a gate, walks straight through, and it closes behind him. Kind of, it's like smoking and things. He's going to the Malfoy household. That's right. Voldemort's holding the meeting. They didn't. He was like, "Out of service, I thought you were going to never show." And everyone's sitting here, and there's this lady floating above the fucking table. Fuck this movie. <laughs> so, anyway, oh, you I remember. Hear, I remember. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Going to, yeah. So they're having a meeting. And fucking um. Someone's yelling downstairs. He wears a warm tail to keep the guests quiet. Anyway, so he has he wants to kill Harry Potter. He has to kill Harry Potter, but he can't do it because their wands are linked. So he wants yeah. a volunteer's wand. No one's there, but guess who's here? Lucy is here. First out of Azkaban. You know what? He sounds like a straight bitch. He can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> like, speak up! I can't hear you. I have to have subtitles on to see what you're saying. Fuck. Dude, I have subtitles the, on. David Yates, director of this movie, went with that take. It's like I can't hear him. You can still have a rasp voice, but let me hear him. Dude, no ADR, nothing. We couldn't get we couldn't get him back in. The, we couldn't get Jason Isaacs in a studio to do some ADR over this. I, I had no, subtitles cool. on the entire cool, whatever. Movie in- <laughs> anyway, Dude, I, uh, I don't he know, takes what? his he's taking his wand because he needs a wand to kill Harry. Yeah, the moment they, he took his wand and like he snapped yeah. it, I literally thought he just it was broke it was the, it was taken off the, hand. the uh, handle. Yeah, the hand. I was like, which comes back later. Put a pin. Fuck, put a fucking pin in it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so fucking um. Yeah, they were like, when's Harry going to be moved? And like, because Voldemort has to be the one to kill him so he doesn't look weak or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. They don't explain it. Whatever. Anyway. Like so then it's like, fire. cool. We're bringing this lady over. She believes muggles and humans are equal. I don't like it. Kill her. Fucking snake eater. Anyway. <laughs> so we're... <laughs> the pin the snake. The snake comes back. Anyway. So. Motherfucking do it. Cool. We go to the Ministry of Magic. We got fucking um, uh, Bill Nighy. He is the Minister of Magic now, and he's saying the Ministry is strong. Could we'll put a pin in that for like thirty minutes from now when they're all dead? Anyway, <laughs> 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 so <laughs> cool. Now, guess what? Everyone's moving. Hermione's wiping her mem- her memory of her from her parents. Very sad, emotional scene. Or at least it would be if I knew these people for more than two seconds. Yeah. And then, but, I mean, it's still like the music touched me. It was like everything else. Was like, man, I don't know them. And cool, Ron's just sitting there. He's looking out into the distance, all gloomy, like fucking um, Harry. He's saying goodbye to the Dursley, but not really saying goodbye to him. Just watching them leave, and then it's like I don't still don't give her about these people. Yes, I, mean, I still don't know why you keep coming back to this house every goddamn year. But anyway, so then he gets a welcoming party. Yeah, they they sit around for a little bit longer, and then fucking guess Mad-Eye's who comes up? Party. It's Mad Eye. It's head. It's the entire fucking Order of the Phoenix. And yep, and there's also this other guy, Mundungus, but we'll get to him. I don't know. Isn't he, that the he's, other... He, I'm going to be too. You know, he's short and bald. He's the one guy oh, okay, who just kind of is there. Also, I forgot to point out in Voldemort's meeting, they infiltrated the ministry. Whatever. They have a politician on their side. They have multiple politicians on their side. They're just waiting to go. Oh, yeah. Cool. Anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> guess what? They have to transport Harry, but they, how to transport Harry? Polyjuice potion. Got to do distraction. Seven Harrys. All right, so that was a scene all on its own. It was a Good scene Lord, all on its own. man. Collier. <laughs> and let me tell you... Uh, Joaquin, what's his name? Uh, who was the actor? Patrick? No. Same guy, Patrick. Where is it? Okay. But f- seeing him in a bra, I was like, look away, I'm hideous. I'm Daniel like, Radcliffe is his name. There we go. I'm like, Filming oh. the Seven Harry scene was so complex that Daniel Radcliffe counted over 90 takes just for a single shot. 90 takes? That's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff to do. Okay, yeah, I understand. I was thinking, yeah, so like, the Harry, like, ten takes. It's just, like, layer over the Harry seven times. No, because you have to do all of it. They, they didn't just crop it. They just, they, everyone has to be in some place. Everyone, they just cropped them out and just, it's, it's complicated. Yeah. Complicated movie shit. Anyway, so, who we were doing? Seven Harrys. We got George and Fred. We got Ron. We got Hermione. We got Mundungus. I and we got Flor Delacour. Who I the fuck is Flor Delacour? I didn't even think that Ron was older than Harry, like, because, like, yeah, he's not older. Like, like, none of age, Harry, Harry. And they're like, wait, where's, Every, where's Harry's Ron? the youngest one in that room. Harry, they, Harry, yeah, he's young. 
Anyway, so yeah. Fucking Flor Delacour from Goblet of Fire. You remember her, right? She was one who lost every competition she was in, except for Dragon, which we didn't see. But whatever. She's oh, ma- yeah. She's marrying fucking Bill Weasley, the, uh, the general from um, Star Wars Episode 7 and 8. I'm sorry, who? Bill Weasley. Wait. The older the, brother. The, uh, yeah, the, the oldest one, one. The one who, he said Greyback got him, but now he's a werewolf, I think. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I think he's a werewolf, so, right? He, he was in episode. Cool. Uh, he was. He doesn't come up. He was the general in Star Wars. Yeah. What character did he play? Did I literally just <laughs> said he's the general in Star Wars? What character did he play? General Knox. Episode seven and eight. Collier, I just gave you the information. The no, wh- Hux. Hux, whatever. Mini Hitler. I Mini don't care. <laughs> oh my God, that's him. Yeah, that's him. Oh wow. <laughs> any, any, no wonder he looks so familiar. Also, Mad Eye Moody's son. But we are going to keep going here. Uh, huh? The actor, Mad Eye Moody's son. That's him. Oh, oh, yeah. oh okay. I was about to say what? <laughs> um. Anyway, so apologies, post and everywhere. Oh, cool. We're going to write off Hagrid's like I brought you here, so it's only soon I take you away. Who gives a shit, Hagrid? <laughs> Bombs to a fucking shitty ass place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm coming up hot. I'm coming up steaming with this room. Anyway. He's so, not like, did you even take any notes? Because you're just going off. I'm, man, it's all in here. It's all in here. <laughs> Fucking recap dude is working. Oh, anyway. So cool. Harry sells the trace on him. That's what it was. I can't remember what tracked him with the master. It's called the trace. Oh. So, yeah. Harry Yeah, like if you're under age. They can't, he can't apparate or use a flu network, I guess. So they got to use brooms or thestrals. Or the mo- magic motorcycle that you think you see more of in this world, but you actually don't. Also, you think you wonder, hey, why are we making so much noise outside in this neighborhood? Should we and try no not to be seen? No, not really? All right, cool. Fuck it. Nobody anyway. can see anything. I mean, they can, though. They, they can see people, especially when people are sitting on invisible creatures to them, and they're just <laughs> sitting there. Yeah, what about those, like... They really... Listen, apparently a lot of them have seen death. Apparently in these last few years, things have changed. <laughs> I mean, I wonder, does Dumbledore's death shouldn't count, right, for Ron and Hermione? Because they didn't see him die. They just saw a dead body. Well, they could have still seen death. I seen mean, then everyone's seen death. I guess I'm pretty sure everyone have been to a funeral at some point in their lives. As old as they are, they didn't, like, nah. I think I, guess, death, I think you have to be, like, exposed to, like, I think the death first... is just, like, the moment of death. Because Harry has seen death before, but has not, can't, not because he was a baby, can't remember it. Mm-hmm. But, so, like, yeah, he like saw a... Cedric die. Which means Luna saw her mom die, yeah. which is very much protected for that character. And I'm guessing Ron and Hermione saw Dumbledore dead. Well, what do you think? I don't see they didn't they weren't on the Destro, so I don't know if they can see them still. They don't go into that, but they know they're there. Yeah, because I saw I was like, um, so. Well, okay. Bill worked with dragons. I'm pretty sure he's seen death at some point in his life. Well, who? Oh, Bill, remember, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Bill, my brother from Romania, he works with dragons. That's the one he kept talking about. Or is that Charlie? I don't know. Did he have other brothers? Who knows? He has, I, don't <laughs> I don't know. There's so many fucking All the brothers. Fuck this movie. <laughs> 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 well, I'm pretty sure when he fought Greyback, someone died with him or whatever. I don't know how he got away. Fucking Greyback has, is also in this movie, has also one, one speaking line again. And it's like, cool, whatever. Anyway, so fucking they're flying and guess what it's a fucking ambush Snape was right he he snitched on them and the, there are like 80 death eaters against 14 people I literally thought Mad Eyes flying around like blasting and people were like ah <laughs> Mendugas who knows where the fuck he is and um everyone is just flying around and Harry like cool we're gonna take a hard right here Harry wants to stay and fight nope we've gotta keep you safe Harry that's the point of this fucking mission remember everyone went, looked like you yeah it wasn't to like just be distraction we were like trying to keep you out of danger so we're going this way why well, keep put him with a person who can't use magic I don't know <laughs> but yeah that's not out of danger well <laughs> he has the umbrella that the umbrella <laughs> that can and no... can't do magic at times I don't know I but, mean it, it but was Hager doesn't have spells. at one point Hager, he, uh, he does have yeah. a wand so whatever Harry's over there super fine people blasting out they're on the freeway it's like I guess the muggles can or can't see this I don't know they pretty sure one of them got ran over <laughs> but then uh, fucking they're in the tunnel they go upside down Harry does a little run thing on the bus really cool yeah. and then a fucking um uh, what I burped oh okay <laughs> like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> like, excuse me <laughs> <laughs> fucking um Harry gets hit, oh no, Harry has to fly him up, and then fucking, um, he's Old just after chasing him down, and guess what, fucking Hedwig comes to save the day, attacks the Death Eater, goes around, rebound, bam, Hedwig's dead. So, cool, there goes that bird that we spent. Oh, the owl? Yeah, the owl. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That was spent like seven years. Yeah. Finally dead. I mean, well, didn't mean to say, like, finally dead, but yeah, like, man. But you did, though. Was, you, did, you did say it. It was only a matter of time. As soon as I saw the bird, I'm like, oh, bird, you was, you was fried kicking. Who's the one that killed the, the, the bird? The, it, was, it was a Death Eater. The, the wildin', right? 
wildling from Game of Thrones. Is the same actor? No, no. You think Tox? Tox is a wildling from Game of Thrones. Yeah. No, no there was a Death Eater. Oh, okay. No. I yeah, I mean, it'd be really fucked up something the order yeah. kill <laughs> Oh, by the way, she's pregnant, but she never gets to say in this movie. So yeah, she is. <laughs> See. There it is. She heard. She was like, "Oh, wait until you hear the news. We are, we're and he's like oh, enough. About, <laughs> matter, we don't need time for catching yeah. up." And, and they had a scene nice. in the movie that they were going to have her sell, tell uh, Molly, but they cut it out. So it's like, cool, whatever. Don't get any fucking character moments. We need these fucking characters. We got to do hunt for the MacGuffins. <laughs> we got to get to that as soon as possible and not find anything. <laughs> so, anyway, we're flying. Harry Scarlet starts hurting. He passes out. Guess what? Voldy is here. And he is in a lot of dark shadows, and he's just he through, you know. blasts, and get, for some reason Harry's arm just poof, expel Aramis. He just knows it automatically. He just does it automatic at yep. this point. That's the only spell he knows at this. <laughs> doesn't know any other spell. And uh, fucking, he's going out, and he's traced back. Oh no, the wand is broken. Lucius' wand is gone. Voldemort is mad. He yells, and he breaks some power lines. Hagrid uh, eventually wakes back up. Cool. They go to just the Ron's. Just in time. Just in time. Just in time. After all, after all the action's gone. Cool. Fucking go to the Weasleys. They crash land. Boom. Molly and Ginny are there. They're like, Where, where's everyone else? And Harry's like, we're the first ones back. I mean, yeah, Harry. Everyone else is fucking fighting. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> then everyone else is popping up and aspirating. Fucking, was it Fred or George? Which one got hit? I think it was Fred. Fred got hit. No, no it was George. George, George got hit. That's George. right. Yeah, it was George. George got hit. Blasted his ear off. Fucking uh, Lupin takes him inside, then takes Harry and then interrogates him. What was that creature sitting in the corner the first time Harry Potter sat in my office? I'm going to tell you right now. My household teacher ever asked me what was in the corner of their office when I walked in for the first time? I don't fucking not, know. Uh, yeah. I don't know the next day. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be able to answer. I'm like, huh? Shut up. I was, I was, I was, I was saying that, so should I actually go back to the very first Harry Potter and I, watch that scene I'm again? I'm pretty sure it's like something that was said in the books but not in the movie which also by the way something in the books are not in the movie but they decided to put it in this movie was that piece of glass Sirius gave that to him in Order of the Phoenix the book but didn't give it to him in the movie so when you usually see Harry looking in this thing it's like what the fuck is that yeah. Yeah. It's, a, it's a piece of uh, mirror that helps you communicate with members of the Order of the Phoenix that's what it is oh. that, but they don't explain it at all so you're just like huh yeah yeah Collier it's been so long since I read the books, and I look at this movie, I like, I had to Google some of this. I was like, why? What is, huh? How did, where, what? Yeah, they don't explain it. It's like, how do we have a two and a half hour movie that's a part one, and nothing is explained? <laughs> Not a damn thing. We know, we know the sort of origins of the Deathly Hallows. I know it's a fucking child story. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, like, then I, they I, do I the, was wondering, like, where's the Deathly Hallows? <laughs> what, what is it? I'm thinking it's like an underground tunnel of death or something no we get to it at the very end of the like come on the entire movie is called Deathly Hallows we, we, we get, I we it, get was... it told to you you get yeah. it told to you don't get to it well actually yeah. you've already seen two have Deathly Hallows already yeah I, I, I mean yeah technically you got yeah. to Deathly Hallows in the first movie so but yeah. you didn't know what it was which is pretty cool when I figured it out like oh it's the, uh, the thing. the cloak of visibility which mm-hmm. you will wonder why wait then why not everyone actually there's more rare things like this is really rare but no it was like no Harry there's just the only one in existence <laughs> Yeah. Like, I don't know why some not everyone hasn't tried stealing this from you at this point. But anyway, so, then someone else lands, and they do the integration scene again, and then everyone else lands, and then they don't do the integration scene anymore. Yeah, Back they film. That's a very flawed system. It they is. do it in the book, but it's like, okay, we gotta keep this movie going, and I understand that. But if you're going to do that, you need to make sure it makes sense. Or at least, like, so just, just, just don't do it. Either do it do all the way, don't. or don't. Because after that, it was like, I mean, any of them could be imposters. Yeah, so yeah because uh, after the second interrogation, they just all kept on going through. Yeah. Like, uh, mm, hey, interrogate. The, mm. Fucking or, apparently, or no. Ron, Ron saved Floor's life. Fucking Mad Eye's dead. Madunga is disapparated or dapperated. They say both in this fucking movie, and it's like I don't know which is which. Yeah, I, I thought why. disapparating was the act, and apparition is it. But then they say no, he can't apparate. So it's like, wait, so is he, can he not disapparate? Or I don't know, whatever, fuck ever. So, fucking. Jo- uh, Fred goes in. Hey George, how you feeling? Saint like, what? Holy, um, holy now. Get it? For- <laughs> He's like the entire world of irritated humor, and that's what you went with. That's pathetic. Good character moment we do. Good yeah. character moment. Don't give me any of those in this book. But Either anyway. way, I still look better than you. I'm like, <laughs> listen, man. He, he tackled let that get him down. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm like, man. This is this is why I grew to love these guys. Anyway, so. 
What's next? Guess what? There's gonna be a fucking it's wedding a because we got time. Wait, no. Harry tries to leave. Ron stops him. Cool. All right, then. <laughs> that was it. It's like Harry's just being dumb. Ron's actually being smart. Well, kind of just being safe. Like, listen, we're gonna go out there and get these things. You yeah, remember that in an hour when you're pissed off about going out there and getting these things. So, anyways, <laughs> we cut to the, the wedding. It's gonna be a tent. wedding. Yep, and then Hagrid's using his umbrella. And yeah, the wish can do magic now. <laughs> I was like, did they take his wand away? What happened? I thought the, the Chamber of Secrets thing, did they give it back? Did he go to GED classes for Hogwarts? What, what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> Whatever. Was, Harry was inside. And, and then Ginny's like, can you hey, zip, zip it up? Him, can you zip me up? And then they do the whole No, she says, zip it up, will ya? And I'm like, Whatever. Excuse me? I'm listening. Because he wasn't talking, then like, oh, wow, okay, that's a and lot then of they exposed and back. They, and then they, I mean, yeah, you know why it's about exposed back, but we're going to get there later. Or well, actually later, right now, they start mm. macking out just... Mm, then here comes, uh... Here comes George. Yes, he does. He just sneaking on through. <laughs> like, like, you know, it's not like the Ron thing Ron was just straight up cock blocking. George yeah. is like, I'm just going to tease them a little bit. I'm just teasing. <laughs> like, he sits there and just stares at like... Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, yeah, that's the only uh, Harry and Ginny moment you get ever. So cool, yeah. don't worry. Yeah. Their love knows no bounds or They're time or space. Little tugboat. Little tug. <laughs> it's, it's not a ship, <sighs> but it, it's a boat. It's a float, and it's going places. So, fucking, it's the wedding. Uh, Harry meets some people. People who knew Albus, and apparently he didn't know Albus as well as he thought. He met fucking Luna's Luna. dad. Luna. I can't so happy to see you, Mr. Again. Lovegood. I can't remember his name, so I'm just going for Mr. Lovegood. 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 Uh, yeah, and Luna's there. She's like, listen, he doesn't want to talk to us right now. I actually, she, she's like, I interrupted a thought, and I can see it growing small in your eyes every I second. I think it's like <laughs> or something. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> he has a, he, but the important thing about him, he has a necklace that looks like a deathly hallow. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like, it's hey, a, it's the thing. It says, no, I, it's a line, a circle, yeah. and a triangle. Cool. You know, I literally like, saw that on someone's car the day before I was watching uh, this is like, oh hey, it's the thing that I keep seeing with the Harry Potter all over the goddamn place. Mm-hmm. And I was literally looking forward to seeing that symbol like way early on in his movie, but no, it's at the very end. Cool. Anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to get through this. I know. Fucking um, what happens? Oh yeah, it turns out he didn't know it. Rita Skeeter wrote a book on her. Remember Rita Skeeter right from Gobble to Fire? She was the um. The reporter. Yeah, reporter. Now she's writing books, 800 pages long. Holy shit, she sounds like J.K. Rowling. <laughs> so, fucking. Um, what the fuck is that? They're dancing. People are happy. Whatever. It's a wedding. Who gives a shit? Then, no. then guess what? Here comes the Patronus out the sky. Like, wait, hold up. We didn't miss something. The fucking Mister and Magic showed up when they were raising the tents. Oh yeah. Gave and him, they uh, gave him, gave him, gave him, yeah. Well, not gifts. There's will and testament from Dumbledore. <laughs> it's not a gift. <laughs> it's well, it. yeah. His last will and testament. <laughs> I would have called him a gift. He gets Ronda Deluminator. It takes out light. Which is freaking awesome, yeah, dude. Something Dumbledore designed himself. We'll get to that later. Put a pin in for like fucking Crimes of Grindelwald. Nope. Crimes of Grindelwald. Anyway, so we're going to fucking um, give Hermione a children's book. She makes a little bit bigger scene about it later on in the book, but I guess they didn't care about that in the movie. I didn't care about it in the book either. Fucking gives Harry the golden snitch that he first caught when he went to Hogwarts. Everyone is, well, every smart person in the room is looking at Harry as he touches it. Ron is like, cool. And just turns away while Minister and Hermione are like, sorry. (laughs) Very disappointed. They thought it was going to open up and reveal something. Put a pin in it. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> now, also, is- fucking, um, he left Harry something else, the sword of Roger Gryffindor. Too bad it's not his to give. Also, it's gone. So, cool. Then we get to the wedding. We already covered all that. Yeah. Patronus shows up. Hey, guys, the Minister of Magic's dead. <sighs> you just hear. We just hours. met him. <laughs> him. <laughs> well, also, the thing, he was going to have a scene in the last movie, but they cut out all that part with the new Minister of Magic so it's like cool Once it, the fat. I mean if you're trying to build up like oh man he's dead that sucks it kind of if you build up later but we'll get to something like that later on in this movie that I didn't care about in this but I care a lot more in the book man I keep doing it in the book thing but I was like man books told the story so much better it's not the best writing in the world but at least it's like you know what you got there you got to that emotional point and here it's just like Cool, let's keep going. Like this <laughs> wedding. Cool, let's keep going. Minister's dead. The mystery of magic has fallen. They're coming. Uh, they're coming. 
And then everyone starts panicking. Cool, it's time to get the fuck out. Guess what? Death Eaters there are immediately. Immediately. Yeah. Maybe they followed the fucking Patronus there that was lighting up the night sky. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you guys can have a better way of sending messages to each other that doesn't require light <laughs> in the darkness. Because most of the movie takes place there. Fucking. They show up. Everyone's fighting. Harry's trying to get to Jenny. Remus. Lupin. The cockblocking werewolf. Say, no, Harry, just run, run. You can see Ginny back there fighting. Mm -hmm. It's like, Remus, you don't turn your ass around and help. <laughs> if you don't look at that thing like a, a full moon and turn into a werewolf at any point and just help these people out. It's like, no, run. It's like, <laughs> you could go with them too. You could possibly go. Also, they don't show this. But as Harry told them about, hey, I know what Voldemort's weakness is. We just define these things and destroy them. Then we're good. Have you told him at all? Or just, uh, I don't think so. Okay, cool. Maybe he should have, I don't know, in that entire time they were setting up toward the wedding. Yeah, so, um, me and Dumbledore, right, we were on this really crazy mission. And uh, I know how to kill Voldemort. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to find these items, and we got to destroy them. The hor Horcruxes. Horcruxes, Horcruxes. right. Yeah. But here's the thing, right? Don't I don't know. exactly know <laughs> what or where they are, so we got to just go around. You keep finding them, put them next to my, find just random items, put them next to my forehead. If I start flipping out, that's it. <laughs> Can you just imagine, like, Oh, yeah, one. I forgot, I forgot. We opened the movie with this really high-pitch annoying noise. Get used to it. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. We figured out what the hell so that is later on. So, they fuck Ron, Hermione, and fucking Harry. They disapparate, apparate, they use some apparition to, the, it looks like London Times Square or whatever. I thought it was New York. Apparently it's not. It's just London somewhere. And yeah, just because Hermione went over her parents and they're like, cool, we got to change. they like, we left our stuff. Nope. Hermione already packed the essentials. They're in her bag. She just her reaches down. Bag. I'm like, Whoa. It's the same technology as the tent. It's bigger on the inside. Aha. Uh -huh. Fucking, um, uh, they go to a fucking coffee shop and this is like, Hermione knows what to order. The other two dumpsters like, I'll just get what she's having. Saying, yeah. cool, waitress is like, just listen to music. And I was like, I don't know who the fuck this waitress is. You just can't walk around listening to music and take an order. You're going to miss some shit. Mm -hmm. But whatever. Walks so, away and then walks two away guys and walk two, in. Yeah, two guys in jumpsuits. They're over here talking about stuff. And then Harry, you know, said they want to take out a wand. Yeah, it's down. Guess what? It's a firefight in a wand shop. Dude, I knew. A wand that, shop? That, fucking cafe. What, cafe shop. Coffee shop. <laughs> who gives a fuck? <laughs> whatever. Okay, okay so <laughs> go ahead. A mosquito? Huh? Yeah. Bug bites. Yikes. Yikes! I got attacked, yo. I almost attacked like they did in this coffee shop. Anyway, call you interrupting me for what reason? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> just knowing how cinematography works, it, it was subtle, weird, but like you know, like the uh, obviously that like, oh the camera's just gonna like pan to something unnecessarily. The camera didn't do that. It just like you know let the gentleman walk through mm -hmm. as casual, but they stayed in frame yeah. for the moment that they walked in, it's like. Why are they still in frame? Unnecessary. I mean, they're blurred, but something is off. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, those are Death Eaters, aren't they? And then the moment I said that, things broke loose. I'm like, hmm. yeah. clever. To the yeah. normal person, they would have not even thought of that. But since I've been watching the movies forever, and I know how, you know, a good art of cinematography works, yeah, all right, sir. it's pretty good. I can enjoy yeah, that little Fucking stroke yourself a little bit more <laughs> on this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the stroke I was talking about. <laughs> If I could put time in the bottom. <laughs> anyway, um, fucking, they start shooting, I mean, blasting spells left and right. This place is going on. Waitress in the back, she can't hear anything. I don't know why people think this joke is ever funny, but it's not. So. <laughs> I mean, it was only funny the Amazing Spider-Man. It wasn't funny then either. <laughs> fucking Stanley cameo. Anywho. So, fucking, they blast one. The other one is hiding behind the counter, and then he gets blasted too. Fucking, this guy, he was there the night Dumbledore died. This guy knows his face in the one pussers. He kill us if it was the other way around. I should fucking kill him, Ron says. It's like, alright, Ron, calm down. I mean, like, you could also join him. If they cycle. kill us, if we kill him, they'll know we're here. So what you do? Wipe their memory. I They're think... gonna know you're there regardless. You use magic. <laughs> How'd they find us? I don't know. Here, you still have the trace on you? Nope. I was all, I'm was. i already 17. I'm already though. Hermione's like, oh, oh no. Yeah, happy birthday. We forgot to celebrate your birthday. Me and Judy made a cake and everything. It's like, Hermione? We're going to tell you after the wedding, but... I... We nearly died, Kristen. <laughs> so... Hey, Harry Potter, the most realist character of that moment. Like, hey, yeah, it's all nice, but like, real talk... Just, just really not. In Could like, the moment of things... <laughs> let's not. Right, perspective. Would you think, yeah, Hermione, you're the most... 
general perspective person here. I don't know why you got all really emotional about that, but you know how does a girl moment? You had girls, whatever. Anywho, so they fucking um, where did they go next? They that's right. We gotta go. We, they say just they knew that none of the old places work. Where should we go? To an old place. We go to the fucking black household. I guess because it's hidden in another building, it's secret and safe or whatever. But it's like. Yeah, but there's clearly a betray someone betrayed you all in the order. I mean, it's Snape, so you know Snape knows about this place, as you have seen Snape there. So, so this, this is an old place that you yeah. probably shouldn't go, but they do anyway. Cool, and guess what? They walk in, fucking Ghost of Dumbledore just comes charging at this screen and disappears. Cool. Yeah. Why? It, Maybe because Snape comes whipping, snipping around. You think Snape's going to be scared of that? You guys weren't scared of that. Well, you kind of were, but you didn't move, so it's like... It blows up there. It's like, was he going to be racked with guilt until leaving? <laughs> what, what is the point of that? I mean, like, Mad Eyes idea, Ron's I reaction yeah. was the same as mine. Like, what was that for? Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that happens. Her mind does a spill. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't do anything. She's like, I can't <laughs> get her alone. I was like, is it a radar? Because you missed Creature, but whatever. So they fucking, um... Oh, um, fucking, they, they, oh, yeah, they, they go to sleep. They wake up. Ron's like, Oi, I found something while Harry's in the family tree room just looking at it because he's missing Sirius. And they they see a destroyed room. It's lovely. No, the fucking door. Regulus Arturus Black, or whatever the fuck his name is. R.A.B. Ah, Probably take that fucking pin out. out. <laughs> there it is. I knew it the entire time because they mentioned him in the fucking Half-Blood Prince, but people missed that one. So I'm like, R.A.B. Who's that? I mean, they told you earlier. <laughs> whatever. So, there it is. Yep, that's what it was. He maybe destroyed the locket. Who knows? Oh, look. Creature's in the closet. Let's get him out. Oi. You know what this is, right? It's the fake locket. Like, he's seen it before. Fucking master told him to destroy it after his death. He can't do it. No, I already tried. Tell him to come and take it in the night. And then go find him. Cool. I'm going to hop the fuck out. What, is, um, what the fuck else is happening here? Oh, yeah. The ministry's taking over. Fucking doing um, <clears throat> some, janky, some janky um, Nazi-like shit. Yeah. Cause everyone has to report for evaluation. Mind sure what I could have worked with you. <laughs> I think okay. we just let the half And guess who's this. back? Professor Umbridge. She's yeah, back. Yeah, Kurt. Yeah, dude. she's there. And she's just Her and her the freaking last. pink. I'm like, come but on. I hate you. I hate everything about I you. I thought they freaking ripped her limb from limb. Nope, they rescued her centaurs. from the fucking centaurs. And she's back. Umbridge God. is back again. <laughs> no, she, no. <laughs> Fucking, um, you cut the Mundungus in the alleyway. He's doing some fucking shady shit, selling shit. He sees these things called Snatchers. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some scenes, but I'm just mixing stuff up. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I didn't take notes of any of them. Shut up. Anywho. So. It's okay. I remember. You didn't take notes either. There's no need to be upset. There's no need to be upset. There's no need to be upset. It's a fucking movie. <laughs> Hopefully the next one will be a whole lot better. <laughs> I don't have faith. Anyway. <laughs> so. Motherfucking. When I was there, he's doing some shady shit or whatever. And Snatchers. Yeah, Snatchers, because they introduced him in the last scene. Like, cool, these people come snatch you up. And, like, it's like... Death Eaters? Death. What? I mean, that was, like, my first thought. Like, so it'd be, like, a different brush of Death Eaters to just come and snatch you up? Well, they're, like, uh, uh, half reach or whatever. Like, Ron says they like, one of them was, like, part troll. They're, like, werewolves in there and things like that. So they're not exactly full, but I think they're, like, working on the way to be, like, oh, we are these higher citizens or whatever because, you know, pick, uh, hierarchies and all that. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Perfect beings. Oh. And all that jazz that we're doing fucking uh, here. So fucking, um, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, I'm, I'm Hermi trying to remember, too. But Hermione's trying to teach fucking um, Ron the piano. He sucks at it. Oh, yeah. And then fucking Creature comes back with Mundungus. Guess who's fucking there with a motherfucking Dobby the house elf? Oh, I was happy. I was, oh. I was happy. He <laughs> saw Creature there talking to Mundungus. Harry and Richie and fucking... Uh, I keep saying fuck. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking, um... Like, hey, I saw Creature. And then Creature made Harry, Harry Potter. Potter so I'm going to help him out. He'll take me to Harry Potter. Just help him, uh, you know. And Mundungus upset that he sent house elves on him. And then... Dolby, for some reason, said, Master Weasley, it's really nice to meet you again. These two have never met in the film they at all. They never met. No one else Best guys knew they met. met. In, the in the book? Yeah, in the book. So it was like, once again, <laughs> hey, guys, anyone think that didn't make sense? No? Cool. You're going to keep going. So I was, I was like, did I miss something? Like, I don't remember seeing Dolby ever since freaking uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. So, what in the flying... You didn't see him. Man. You didn't see him in Prisoner of Azkaban. You saw him in Chamber of Secrets, Chamber of right? Secrets. Oh, Chamber of Secrets. Yeah. And then I never saw him again. Nope, never again. 
You might have seen like a frame of some help else. So it might have been Dobby in the Goblet of Fire, but it would have been during the Quidditch scene. I mean, the Quidditch World Cup. There's a lot of stuff to look at on the screen, so you don't notice it. Yeah. They're like, they say you can see two house elves like riding a llama in the background or whatever. I don't know. And mommy yeah, it was a llama. I just, made, I, just said, I just said llama. I don't know if it was a llama or not. <clears throat> then Manunga's like, cool, fucking, um, <laughs> I, I was, then like, have you seen this lock? Have you, did you take a lock before? He's like, why was it valuable? So you still have it on you. No, he was afraid he didn't get much for it. He just gave it away to someone. Doesn't know who it is. Conveniently, there's a newspaper right there with her. Oh, look, that's her. Bow and all. It's fucking Umbridge. She gave him, she took the locket for his freedom or whatever. She has, and, and she had no idea. Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe she did. Or maybe she did. Or maybe she did. But who knows? I'm just gonna go and say that she did. Just for the fact that she's evil. She's not evil. She's just a bitch. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so. Cool. Well, all we have to do is infiltrate the Ministry of Magic to one of the highest ranking authorities and then steal from her. Excellent. Sounds like a simple mission, right? Well, dude, you well, gotta, get this, you gotta get this hard crux, so let's fucking do it, guys. Cool. What are they gonna do? They ambush some people who work in the Ministry of Magic without knowing who they are or who they work for. Yeah. And they're like, cool, we're just gonna walk around. And one of the people, the person Harry is, if you know back at the scene where they have the new Ministry, the Voldemort's Ministry, mm-hmm. there, he's one of the people back there. So I was like, um, this might be a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Turns out it isn't yeah. that much, but you know, you think no, normalized that'd be a problem. It's like, oh, we don't know who we are. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to be doing. Ron doesn't remember what they look like. He, he did. He did not. Nope. So anyway, fucking um, they go to the ministry. They gotta flush themselves in. They. Harry and Hermione go look at the statue. It's Muggles in the rightful place under all these wizards or whatever. Fucking um. Cool, we gotta walk in here, they go to the elevators, and fucking some guy, some blonde guy who was at that meeting with Voldemort, and it's like, I'm going downstairs to interrogate your wife, my office has been ringing for two days now, if you don't go stop it, she might just be gone forever. It'd be a shame if something would have happened to her, you know what I mean? My poor wife, you don't gotta wait my for God. me. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, yeah, Harry, but there's also this menacing person who kind of needs your help, so come on. Hero, I think? I don't know. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> that might be that one part in the game where you go, you know, Paragon or Renegade. Fucking Ron goes. They tell him how to dispel with that doesn't work. They don't get to tell him that. Cool. Harry said that we can't find number for an hour. Let's just leave and come here. back because they don't know how long the Podgy's potion is going to last. And Harry is public enemy number one at this point as well. They open. The, Undesirable number one. Most it's, it's the same damn thing. Just the wizard speak. So they open the elevator doors open. Guess who's there? Professor fucking. I keep calling Professor Umbridge. Miss Umbridge herself. Mm. And Harry is stunned. He's just, well, aren't you getting out? It's like this bitch. Just very weird walking. Mm-hmm. Very weird walking from Harry here. Mm-hmm. And cool. So he goes to her office, trying to get there. Hermione is stuck in the elevator with her. She has to be her secretary, apparently. Yeah, just Fucking, um, poor Harry, girl. Harry, and then once again, like the uh, very, not she like propaganda thing. She didn't print just, it out. Just mm-hmm. like the trouble with uh, mud butts or whatever, or muggles, I don't know. Yeah, with the And then and... Harry is like, all right, cool, this is where Umbridge office is. I need a distraction. He pulls out a device, the little honky honky things. Yeah, and uh, then they start she, multiplying it. Yeah, I know. I know you, know, you know that's one of theirs. <laughs> yeah. It was and great. guess what? They blow up around the room, making all the noise in the room. People run around, distracted. Harry slips into the office. And all the cats are still there. None of them go tell Umbridge, though. But it's cool yeah. that they don't do it this time. Yeah. And uh, he's looking at Axial Locket. Harry, do you really think it's going to be that simple? Then he just goes, he goes to this, he has some files to people who are dead or are missing. Guess what, Dumbledore is there. There are a lot of people on that cross off with Mad Eye Moody, dead as dicks. Fucking uh, fell off his broom, he did. He got blasted off his broom, but Madonna said he fell off. Uh, yeah, Madonna took a look at Voldemort and then ran. Yeah. Didn't oh, yeah, I forgot when Harry goes to sleep, he sees visions again. Once again, it's like, cool, I thought we wrapped this plot point up in Order of the Phoenix. Apparently, he, he still hasn't learned not to do this, but he's still doing it and he's still getting information. He's, uh, Voldemort was mad at this one. I'm just gonna do this because I forgot. I'm just putting yeah, all this together. Yeah, but he's trying to get yeah. something about no. a wand from the wand. No, yeah, but the first thing was, it was the person, the guy who had taken another pen out, the person they took in Order of the Phoenix, I mean, Half-Blood Prince, was Ollivander. The guy oh, who did the wand. So like, like, everyone, did... everyone did Ollivander. They're like, did you know who did? And I went to that, like, Ollivander's, and you still didn't fit it out. I was like, mm-hmm. all right, cool. Take that pen out now. <laughs> Ollivander's the guy they took. No hood. Okay. Remember, okay. Peter yeah. rocks out all proud. And he was like, this grand. And they destroyed the bridge. That's what yeah. they did there. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember. So, I yeah, remember. he was both of mad. Like, you lied to me. He's like, no, I thought it would have worked. You guys should still be bonded, but you still are somehow. Cool. Put a fucking pin in it. And. <laughs> your fucking brothers. The long guy, right? They're happy and they're singing and they're color. Da na na na. 
give me a high. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I was doing something else. Like, oh, no, I'm not doing the Nazi thing. Anyway, so, but putting Voldemort is. But we're going back here now. I don't give a shit. <laughs> here, he yeah, can't find it. it. Cool. We're going to leave. He's going to go find Hermione. He walks out. Everything is calmed down. People turn around. And it's like, uh, run, come, run on. And then he just. Mommy, Once again, very scared. weirdly walks off. Like, what is going on with this performance? <laughs> He's in the elevator. He's going down to Hermione. Ron yeah, walks Ron. back in. Morning. Ron, it's, it's me. me. Oh. It's okay, not- so, and that seemed like, how would you know if that was Ron or not? That well, could have been they, the real dude who well, walked Well, here's off. the thing. They took their clothes. Uh, Remember? The other guy right. walks in, and he's like, in his underwear, like, that's right. That's who's right. that? <laughs> That's right. And also, Ron comes in soaking wet in the from where it's not the entrance, so you would it's not what you're I'm like, Ron, come on. <laughs> Ron just forgot what he looked like. Cool, they have to go downstairs, and they're going to uh, get Hermione. They go down there, they, they see the Umbridge, they see the blonde dude, they see the wife, and, and they're interrogating her about her being a uh, mudblood. And, and I don't remember like, in the last time I was in this courtroom. In and Order the, of the Phoenix. In Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. But... You don't remember the Death Eaters? No! They didn't look I, up. Yeah. <laughs> That's I was why. like, oh, mm, so if you're found guilty, they would just take you right there. Oh. Or, uh, man, that's a horrible thing. It's a whole thing. Fucking, okay, um, so. Freaking wizards are <laughs> evil. <laughs> they suck. And there, Harry sees the locket around Umbridge. He's like, well, this is what we gotta do. We came here for this, so I'm might as well just take it and then run out the fucking ministry yeah, of magic. Yeah, not even gonna be sneaky about it. Like, hey, what are you doing? It's like, Oh, he, he put that same line again from the... Uh, I must not tell lies or whatever. Or, uh, no one must tell lies or something. And then, <coughs> stupefy. Yeah, and they just fucking blast everyone in the room. And they're like, cool, we got to take this woman with us now. The Dementors are like, fuck this, let's <laughs> take them. And they all run. And it takes them forever to do a Patronus. I was like, you all learned this jinx two years ago. Here, yeah. you four. Just do it immediately. Yeah, just run this. <laughs> I spot up a turn on Woof and just keep on going. I'm like, I know, like, don't I wait for a part just, of your soul to be sucked out of you. While I you- was literally just yelling that at Harry as he were running. Like, spot up a turn on, spot up a turn on, spot up a I know the spell that needs to be done. So they do that. Fucking, he escape. <sighs> Things are, uh, their spell is wearing off. The apology wife. potion is working off. Um, yeah. Ron's lasts the longest because it's funnier, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, because the wife kisses He's like, him. He's like, get to take the kids out. So we got to escape the country. Let's go. Just get the kids. I'll meet you. Like, go you got to give him for, you know, trying to play his part before he gets the parts. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? His voice didn't change at all. So it's like, I know him. that you're not him. She gave him a kiss. And then he's he trying to get real like, dude. She up, like, hey, who's that? It's like, uh, who's that macking on my wife over there? <laughs> Yeah, it's like, cool, gotta go, and nothing is said of it again. Cool, excellent. Hey, look, Harry here. Potter, it's but here Harry comes Potter. that one blonde guy, he's up, and he's just slowly walking around, too. He's a lot of slow, weird walking going on, but I guess he got hit by a spell, which is his excuse. I don't know what Harry's excuse was that entire time, but sure. So, they're running. Hey, look, it's Harry Potter. We have to get him. It's like, can you, you sound any more enthused, sir? Any more. Yeah. Hey, Collier, try that line. It's Harry Potter! Get him! Yeah, right there, you've already done immediately 100% more acting than that guy ever did in his life. <laughs> a little bit... Get o- that fool! A little Get bit over, fool. but at least it was over and not under. So, cool. <laughs> I would try. I would prefer anyone trying it and actually going above better than below. Fucking, they're running through the... They gotta get to the chimneys to escape here to apparate, I guess. I don't know. And the other guy, he's running around. They blast of fucking... Papers. Papers are flying around. It's like, Harry, you're just showing everyone else that... You're the person they're after here. Um, cool, but whatever. You know, and there they all die for it. They all apparate, but the other guy dies after them and grabs it for a little bit. You see it roar, yeah, and then a little bit more. Roar, 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 roar. Like, and they so land the forest still, there. Like, do something while operation is taking place. Cause I thought it was just like a immediate thing, but from like like that within that time, you can still deal something, deal some damage or whatever. I'm like, Wait, oh. what do you mean damage? Because like, he was, like, grabbing on to Well, he someone. had grabbed them before. If you make contact with them, you apparate with them. Yeah, and it just... But it, the, re- the reason that happens is Hermione did it so quick when they landed, blasted them off, and then apparated again with them. But not everyone was braced for said part. Oh. Like Ron. Yeah. So when they... I think it's described as part of you gets left behind. Yeah. Which is why Ron was, like, 
fucked <sighs> up. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, what it happened? Switched. Like, so cool. Um, we got. I, I thought the dude literally was like just messing up with the whole apparition thing. He kind of no. like ripped on his arm or whatever. No. But no, like, maybe just that piece of his. Yeah, Flesh that's what they got left behind. Part of the stuff they left out in the lessons for um, Half Blood Prince was the risk of apparition. Like, if you guys aren't, like, if you can't 100% do it, this could happen. You could end up in two places. So you have to make <gasps> sure you know what you're doing. You yeah, you're like, dead. cool, I'll use a broom. <laughs> Literally for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Shoot, I'm gonna like, apparate the top half of my body across the room. I could possibly have. Nope, so anyway, I, I, I'll be good. I, I'll fucked, take that broom. Ron's fucked up. His arm is just, well, he's leaking everywhere. There's something in her bag that can save him. Harry's looking for it. He's Accio. It's like, yeah, Harry, come on now. You know how you already know how big that thing was. Just go. He like it's gonna hurt. It's like Hermione. His arm is nearly off. It can't hurt any more than this. So <laughs> let's just go. All right, cool. She's setting up base there. They had to do because they had to come here to this random wood because if. The guy following him, I keep, I forgot his name, I don't know. Does it matter? No, blonde dude. Blonde Nazi dude. Man, blonde hair, blue eyes, who would have thought that? Oh, uh, fuck it. Um, he was there for a second. He's like, well, cool, he knows who they are now, so it's not safe there anymore. So they gotta, can they go back to their safe house? With the rest of the thing. Keep leaving stuff behind. So much stuff left behind. And here's, comes the, uh... They, close set up that. The Brandy a, Simulator. No? Where they're like, no... Walking. Lot, but well, they, got, they got to stay still for a bit. We'll yeah. get there, man. All right. Yeah. She's Hermione setting up charms everywhere to like guard the area so people can't see them. People can't. Yeah, I was wondering what she was doing. Are. But it's a shield, just defenses and all that good jazz. Like, Except the wizards tent. can't see them and muggles can't see Harry's, them. Harry's uh, fucking. Uh, okay, cool. They set up the tent. They spend the night there. Next day, they're gonna try to destroy the um, fucking um, Horcrux. They try all the spells in their out their um, arsenal. And it also, it's been proven that Harry actually knows more than one spell. Because, boy, he was like, spell after spell after that. I'm like, oh, wow. So he knows more than freaking Expelleramus and uh, freaking uh, Spectrum and Sever 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 Bouncing around. And cool. it's just repairing itself. It just Then Harry puts it. a locket on. What are you doing? Well, we have to keep it safe if we can, though, I destroy it. Or you just, like, I don't know, not wear it and put it in your pocket. And hopefully if you sit on it, it you would, break it. It would still have the same effect. In the pocket or not, just holding it would you have it. Yeah. <clears throat> that effect. It's like the one ring. Anyway. So, here goes my favorite part of the movie. Sitting around and walking. <laughs> We're camping, guys. We're doing a whole year-long camping trip. So, there's this radio... Fucking Ron, Ron's listening to it. They're saying all the missing names. Harry's getting pissed off. Like, why is he have to listen to that? It makes him feel better, she says. <laughs> and he's getting all pissy. Take the locket off. What? Take the locket off. Well, she says, take it off. It's like, excuse me? Is this yeah, where, is this where it turns? out of me. Is this where it turns right now? Is this where I've been hoping for for my entire lifetime? No? Cool. Just <laughs> take the locket off. Okay, takes the locket off. Better? Loads. Loads. Cool. We're taking it in shifts then. Excellent. Why it affects your personality? Who gives a fuck? <clears throat> so... Fucking um. So it, it affects Harry and Ron the most, like. So it affects Hermione too, but they don't. Show I, that. I, I I know he just sits there, like I don't know, like. No 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 no. Rightly. No, it does affect her, but they don't show it. So. Okay, in the books. Yeah, well, okay, I, I want like, to know what happens to her. Guess what, Collier? Read them. <laughs> um no. All right, then you're not gonna know. <laughs> anyway, so fucking. <laughs> The, uh, the student, they just started walking because yeah, Ron's not good to have so they gotta start walking they can't stay in one place oh okay, yeah so there was the, this moment right when Hermione was outside for some reason well, she, did she hear something just walk out yeah the snatchers she heard, uh, oh, she, heard, she went to go figure it out I was like hey, that's a dumb move went there and fucking snatchers you can see that you can see what the spells do now I was like you can't see it but he can still smell her werewolf so he can still smell her hold on I smell yeah. something he was, he was there for like a real long time like Hermione, move! But she can't see. She can't see her, so she's fine. I know, but still, like, if he just decides to go... Like, pull a like, snake? Freaking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just pull a snake, like... Uh, fucking, uh, where are we? Goddamn. Uh, Harry's like, Snatchers. I don't know why he knows, but she doesn't know. He's like, she said he can smell my perfume. They come and back. Then, and then, as they Ron, like Ron, who's also wearing her crux. Oh, yeah, he's been wearing it. And it's been, uh, wearing it, and he's getting all jealous now. Yeah. Hey, let me tell and you. And this is what we don't need. I mean, we already had to sit Guess through. Guess what, freaking... guys? We're back. We're back with the teenagers. It's what it's the jealousy thing. 
It's the real they won't think. We, it's we, everything combined. We already it's angsty had, little Ronnie Ron. I already had enough of angsty Ron. Guess what though? You don't From you don't end angsty Ron. Ron is all angst. <laughs> all angst and stupid face. That's Ron Weasley right there in the yep. bag. Dumb face. And he comes back, well, if, I know you like your perfume, but maybe not wear it next time. And like, oh, look, they were making out or whatever. It was like, who the fuck says that after a make-out session? Come on, Ron, put your head, put your head in, hit your head in the game. Hit the game. <laughs> you guys were flirting back to left and right at the house or whatever. Who gives a shit? So. Oh, yeah, he touched her lip back at the cafe. Like, you know the best. Uh, best that was really weird, by the way. Can I, I know. Say, can I say that was weird? I was it's like, you don't smell the best. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> What? Like, was, was there something on her face? Cause I there, there was just... a little bit of like blood or something on her face, but he didn't wipe it off. He just did that. It's like you know the building was like okay, it's still there. So that was just creepy. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought like oh, is, is that what they do now? Listen, like, she has just... very nice skin. Very nice skin. <laughs> uh, go with the fire, right? N- incorrect. Uh, Half blood prince. prince. Yep. We just watched mm, that movie. Yeah. Mm. Uh, right, I'm going to bed. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> so. Ron's they're walking, all they're walking around. They're listening to the radio still. Ron's really like, man, that thing is really taking a toll on him. So maybe she's like, oh, take it from him. Like he looks dreadful. He has yeah. a dumb face and he looks dreadful. A dreadful dumb face. Yes, yeah, dreadful dumb face. Dreadfully dumb face. There we go. And he's all pissy and whatnot. And they're just walking around. They don't know what they're fucking doing. They're just walking. Where are they going? Who knows? Ron's like, he has no idea what he's doing. Well, none of us did. But Ron's like, nah, but he really doesn't. <laughs> it's like, cool. Man, I don't know what I'm doing, but he really <laughs> doesn't. He brought me here. It's like, actually, you volunteered, asshole. <laughs> Remember you all became Harry, even though he didn't want you to? You volunteered to help him out? Yeah, this is what you did. You signed up for this shit. <laughs> so anyway, um, fuck it. Um, didn't they also say that in a movie, too? Yeah, we're, we're, we're all to get to that. She's giving him a haircut. Fucking, um, she says, oh, my God. Which you never want to hear anyone giving you a haircut say. Yeah. And Harry's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, I'll, t- uh, I'll tell you like, maybe you can tell me now. Because she was reading a book. Apparently the book has all these children's stories about everything that they need. Got the, the, got the sort of got the Gryffindor is goblin made, so it doesn't rust. Dirt does not affect it. It only takes in what makes it stronger. He said. Well, okay. Cool. I was like, well, yeah, you... You destroyed the Horcrux with a basket face. Like, unless you got one that one of those in that bag, Hermione, they ain't doing me much good right now. Yeah. Like, no, idiot. Listen, you killed the basket with the sword, so it can kill a Horcrux because it took him and made it stronger. But the only problem with that, and then whoop, lights are gone. Guess what? Wrong yes. over. The sword's Inst- missing. Whoop. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. All right. Cool. You okay, Rob? It's like, oh no, I'm just mad because there's another thing we have to fucking find now. It's like, you know what? As much as I don't like Ron, especially in this movie, I'm moving on that point. It's like, why yeah, do we he, have so many things to find? Yeah, yeah he's Why are we going to catch for the seven Dragon Balls right now? Can we <laughs> not just... Why? Come on, man. He's like, I thought Dumbledore would have told you something. He's like, I told you literally everything Dumbledore told me. He didn't tell me anything else. This is all we know, but you have to do this. You, They start getting in a fight. He's like, he's like... Like, I don't you know why I listen to that radio show. all day. So I, was, I hear my mom's name: Fred, George, Jenny. This is his other brother, his wife, <laughs> his dad. Anyone else? Just be like, fuck them. As long as it's those four, I don't hear. Oh, one of the names you heard missing: Dean Thomas. Remember the black guy in Gryffindor? Yeah, he's missing too. Yeah, Rip. Anywho, well, I'm not sure Rip, but he's just missing. You know. He's MIA at the moment. You know, he can be KIA, but he's K-I-A. MIA. He's like a Spartan. The Spartans never die. <laughs> <laughs> he's with Master Chief right now. He, he's good. Master Chief is dead. Spoiler. Um, oh! What? Master Chief's dead. Oh. Oh, he's dead. He's been dead the entire time. Ever since uh, Halo 3. Been dead all along. Ever since, ever since Reach. Reach? Yeah. Nah, 3. 3. Nah, Reach. We should we should, anywho, <laughs> anywho, huh? They're doing that. He's like, all right. He then Ron pulls a dick move. You don't get it because you don't have a family. Like, all right, cool. yeah. I'm like, all right, dude. That hurt me. He's like, all right, cool. Then go then. And you know what? Ron takes off the horcrux, throws it down, and he starts storming off. He's like, well then, to her mind, he's like, what? Storm off with you or go try to defeat the Dark Lord? Um, we have a mission to do, sir. 
Like, what did you expect was going to happen? I honestly thought that the moment he takes off the hero crest, it would even be just fine. But no, yeah. it actually takes some time for you to, like, you know, really nah, spread that extra. bitch. Okay. Yeah, that's part of the thing. Nah, right? just a bitchy bitch, and I hate him. I hate him. <laughs> Still a dumb face. Still a dumb face. And they do all that. Cool. Ron leaves. Hermione's like, he runs outside the rail and Ron, you can hear him just separate. It's like, oh, cool, he could do it now. I don't yeah, know why, why the I fuck heard... were we just walking around this entire time? He could do it. Yeah. Anywho. So. And then we have the will they, won't they scene for a week. Apparently it's been a week. A week? Well, like, on there, it's been like a week because Ron was gone for a week. No, Ron wasn't gone for a week. Three days? Ron was gone for months. Months? It had been a while. I could have swore that Hermione said you, get, you leave for a week. It wasn't a week. I it, it definitely was longer than a week. Because Harry started growing hair. Harry started growing. I mean, yeah, he, he saw he got he, the stubble was coming in. Like, yeah, oh, like, Harry needs to get a shave. He looks old. I'm fucking uh, uh, older. Like you just went from seventeen to twenty seven. I don't think it was a week. It couldn't have been a week. It, it, I, I could have swore the line was a week. I'm, whatever. Fuck this movie. A yeah. week, a month. Who knows? He was gone for a while. It's been a while. Hey. Anywho, so they <laughs> Hermione's crying and all that. Right, cool. They apparate somewhere else. They fucking um have a little dance scene that's not actually not in the book. That's a little it's like oh cool. They have a little thing that's a little exclusive for just a movie, trying to make her feel better. Yeah, it, and yeah, it, 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 it works. It, you know, it, it works brings up bit. it brings up the happy. Yeah, yeah. They, they but stop. you know, Harry had the genius idea, which I didn't know why them didn't have. When you're just sitting there, take the locket and just throw it somewhere, and then no one's affected by it. Yeah, it's like. You guys could have missed the entire time. You just left Ron. He's sleeping with the thing yeah. on him. Yeah. It's like, why? It's like, Hermione, put it in your bag. I mean, I don't know. I man. mean, he's a smart one. I mean, he was literally just bragging how logical and how smart he was. Like, I mean, yeah, ago. but once again, it, the script banned certain things or whatever, but still, Hermione got this done in four or less movies. Three less movies, definitely. <laughs> that was fire would never happen for mine. She's like, absolutely not fucking doing this. Fuck this noise. <laughs> Anywho, but whatever. So, and then they, they say, the oh, dance, then they, they have, they want to go to, yeah, fucking, they're sad still. <sighs> Harry wants to go to Godric's Hollow. That's where the person knew about Dumbledore was. That's where fucking, um, he grew up. That's where Voldemort nearly died. That's where Dumbledore grew up. So he wants to go there. It's symbolic and all that jazz. They get there. Hermione says she would rather use Polyjuice Potion, but he didn't want to return to home as someone else he was. Yeah. Spoiler in the book, he does use Polyjuice Potion because that's a smart idea. Uh-huh. So, yeah, it's like, you're still you, Harry. Regardless if you have a different face, they go as a muggle couple or whatever. So, whatever. He said, they start walking around, oh, look, it's Christmas. Which I think, I'm pretty sure that's why it's been longer than a week. Because it's Christmas now, all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then, fucking, they, like, they go past the graveyard. Think my, Harry, my parents be in there? It's like, I mean, they lived here, right? And they die? Yeah, they'll probably be in there, Harry. Yeah, they sure. walk in. They are. That takes a moment. They find a, I mean, how many finds a different casket with someone else's name on it? I think we skipped Guess what? Fucking Deathly Hollow thing. What did we skip over? Is there anything important? <laughs> yeah, they, they, they find a Deathly Hollow thing in her book. Did they? Written in. Cool. And which we can find this out. Hey, it's the same it's symbol. Same as symbol. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's pretty clean though. Mm-hmm. Right, Every cool. time they see it, definitely helps. Oh yeah, and he was like, yeah, uh, fucking Mr. Lovegood was wearing it at the fucking uh, party, or whatever. Yeah. That's right. Which she was looking at the fucking book for the sword, right, or whatever. Mm-hmm. That when she saw it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so enthused about this movie. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn, man. Uh, anyway. So, they're having a moment. Hermione makes a little wreath for them. Her, his parents, it's like, oh, that's very huh. sweet. They hug it out, and there's someone like staring that. at them. They're having a good little, they have like, man, if only these two were together. This, this is like, take the rest of this context out and just put, like, that image. Uh-huh. You're like a little, like, ho- nice little family holiday movie. They're like, this guy meets this girl right there, and they're just bonding. It's like this little moment here. It's like, this I, is a really weird thing. Yeah, yeah, I actually did like that moment. Like, oh, it's... It's over. They should be together. It's touching. It's really touching. It's over. They should be together. I mean, it's not like it's my shit, but yeah, you can't even wallpaper. I mean, it's not my shit, it, yeah. but I appreciate the friendship. It's no though. longer Spider Man. I appreciate the friendship, though. Yeah. It was nice. And then, uh, old lady shows up. You know, this old lady staring at her in the corner. Harry's like, I know who that is. They just start following her. And Hermione's like, I think this is a bad idea. Hermione has no clue how right she is. For her, yeah, her gut was spot on. Yeah, the lady just says a Harry, word. Harry stops, looks at his house that it was. He's like, this is where it all happens or all went down that night. Has a flash of Voldemort or whatever. Fucking. <laughs> okay. 
Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. At one point, too, Harry also got knocked out and had another dream about the guy who stole... Yeah, but that's after... No, no. Yeah? No, because he goes in the house and asks who's this guy. So he had to have seen his face at some point, which means that happened beforehand. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you are. Oh, I was thinking that's like after the whole running in the forest scene. No, no, no. He goes and that's when he sees old Grindelwald. Grindelwald. Mm-hmm. Anywho. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Also, take a pen out. That's what he was looking for. Remember, they, where it was like, he's looking for something that he didn't have before. Yeah. That's what it was. All right. Yeah, the Elder Wand. Which Dumb- is Dumbledore's wand. Remember how I said, put a pen on that one, too. Mm-hmm. Remember how I said, like, there's, there's Dumbledore's wand. Yeah. All right, cool. Put a pen in it. Right there, that's it. <laughs> there it is. Um, fucking... All the pins are coming out. There's so many pins. You've missed a lot. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> woof. So where are we? Fuck. Um, talking to the old lady. Well, trying to talk to. She yeah, she ain't saying, she's saying Jack and shit. Oh yeah, I forgot to say it. Fucking, they saw Young Grindelwald take the wand from some um fucking wand guy, Grigovich. Yeah. Sure. Then they go in the house and then they see it. He's like, "Who's this guy? I've seen his face." Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Thing, and then just walks away. Hermione stays downstairs. Those two go upstairs, and he starts speaking parcel tongue to him. I was like, oh. And Harry doesn't like. This, like Harry doesn't like, like. Why am I speaking parcel tongue to you? you, you hey, this is a, did you watch the subtitles, right? Huh? You watch the subtitles, right? Yeah. So how do you feel when they said speaking sport, parcel tongue? Speaking. I was like, uh. Cool. Uh. No. 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 <laughs> me. It was that like, works for snakes. I know, but also if you also speak secret language with someone, you like me. I prefer to know what they were saying. It, 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 it just says speaking in I know. I watch subtitles. And I turn off subtitles, do it, and it's just noise. And I was like, <laughs> excellent. I know nothing. I just know that this is a snake or someone who speaks parcel tongue. Guess what? It's a snake. I knew it's it was a, a snake because I read the book. I'm like, man, this, I knew, this movie has been preying on people's fears. This entire freaking franchise has been preying on people's fears. You got snakes. You got speeders. You got a freaking claustrophobia, darkness. It's like, man, is this like a... A horror series or what? So fucking um. So she, snakes he are taking looking at these pictures. He starts turning into a snake, and they get knocked into a baby room. Hermione had seen some shit downstairs. It was a, box, a couple bodies. I don't know. It's fucking dark in there. I can't see shit. And she's like, Harry, it's time to leave. <laughs> He's attacked by a snake. He's trying to wrap him up. He takes a brick and knocks it tight to the head. Oh. Gets free and is like ah. <laughs> and just bite the snake off. I can't remember if they killed the snake or not. They didn't. They just get out of there. They did not. They fucking blast it. And like, cool, they lean over. It jumped up again. Blast it. They apparate out of there. But the spell fucking rebounded. Guess what? Harry's wand is broken. Yeah. That, like, the the one thing. Can use yours? The <laughs> one thing that they had to defend themselves against Voldemort if they don't get the Horcruxes is now gone. Well, they still have Hermione's wand. But it was his wand that was specifically made. I mean, but, I mean, to but cast he out his wand. But he didn't lose. He didn't. Voldemort didn't use his wand. He used Lucius. Lucius' wand. Remember? Oh, yeah, true, because the two wands. Yeah, like, so they're, they're, they're still linked to him now. That's why he's like, I'll be lied to me. I'm like, no, no, no. You guys are linked. The wands are linked. I have no clue now. This is beyond me. I'm just a simple wand keep. I'm a simple wand maker. I don't know all this shit. <laughs> Release me. Release me. Release me. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Meanwhile. Meanwhile. We are cut back there. Yeah, Harry's wand's broken. He's kind of said about cool. Um, Hermione, you outside. Get some rest. Get warm. Give me your wand and uh, lock it too. Cool. Later on that night, he sees a Patronus. It's a doe. That Patronus doe. Um, hey. and <laughs> I was seeing him a joke. He's like, I-, I need to get there. I need to get there, but okay. you wouldn't. And Harry's just like, cool. I'm just going to follow this thing. Not was, alert Hermione. I'm just gonna follow it. I'm like, dude, this he is falls into a yeah. lake, and guess what's in the fucking lake? He didn't the, fall into a lake. It, it's a frozen pond. Oh no! I thought you said he falls into a lake. Nah, like, he follows. Follows, he follows into it. Yeah. Guess what it is? It's the fucking sword of Gryffindor down there. Why sword. is the sword of Gryffindor down there? Too bad, fucking nerd. Read the book. <laughs> That's why the sword of Gryffindor is down there. I see your sword. Yeah. Some word like, hey, guess what? Harry, nothing. That you, nothing that you can say was Asio. Yeah, unless it's a, if it's an artifact, Harry, just assume it's not going to work. Assume that the people who had it before don't want it to be that easy. Just assume that. And then... Wait, yeah, yeah, because he didn't, he didn't do it in the fucking courtroom. He had to run up and take it from her. Anyway. And now we get to see what the Defendo spell does. Yeah, it breaks stuff. Yeah. Like every other spell they have. 
That's a break the lock. Yeah. It's called cool. Harry's like, excellent. I'm going to dive down there. Like, dude, and no. What, what you go to it, and the locket said, I'm not having it. It tries to kill Harry. Yeah. It's like, this locket is sentient? I would imagine so. All of a sudden, all of a sudden this I locket would has imagine, a personality. Dude, I was, and, <laughs> during that entire scene, like, okay, this locket is going to be yacked because it's getting close to the one thing that. Would could, you think Harry would be like, maybe I should I not should have leave the locket? This locket. On. I, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Tie it to the freaking tree. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if you put it on ice and it starts starting to. Vroom, and it's going to I was like, no. We're going to find it again? <laughs> yeah. No. I'm like, fucking, so he does that. He's trying to strangle him. And fucking, he can't get up. He's trying to stand. He's about to drown in some freezing cold water. Harry actually did a little smart move, though. That might be really, like, he didn't dive in with his clothes on. Took his clothes off. So that way, when he got out, he had something warm to put on. So everyone else would be like, I'm just going to leave my clothes. It's like, cool. When you get out, you're still going to be freezing. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, how do you, I mean, is it a smart, is it, it's still a dangerous move, but one is smarter than the other. Not much smarter. It's a little bit smarter, right, Collier? Yeah. You're a military man. You know how to survive out <laughs> in the wilderness. Which one's smarter? With clothes or without clothes? Without the clothes. Right, I mean, cool. like, I, I was like, dude, you're going to be freezing your butt when you get in that lake. But, hey, smart move. Because when you get out, you got, you something, got something warm. warm. But, warm man. yourself up real quick. So, whatever. He dives in. Can't get it. Strangling him. About to die. Fucking someone else dives in. Who is it? Except Ronald Billius Weasley. <laughs> and his fucking Stupid dumb face. Dumb face. <laughs> comes in to get the sword and save Harry's life. He thought it was Hermione. It wasn't Hermione. Nope. Because he didn't tell Hermione what he was doing. She's probably asleep inside. Nearly just died there. Voldemort's problem would have been over. Anyway. Cool. Ron's back. We got and the sword he said, he, he, said did, he said, did you send the dough? No. Mine's in the stack. All right. Antlers. You? No. Cool. We don't know who this Patron is. Put a fucking pin in it, Collier. <laughs> so fuck. it was his dad no his dad was a stag as well oh so we what are you looking at no like I'm thinking like I thought about it before when I first saw it like huh so it was neither of theirs then who yeah who's listening We'll get to it later. Like I said, put a fucking pin in it. So they're like, so they're like, cool. It's time for us to destroy the the locket. Should we possibly get Hermione for this as well? Yeah. Yeah. Do we? No. <laughs> cool. Excellent. Ron, you have to be the one to do it. Why? It Why? affects me more than you. Exactly. So you should do it. I don't know. Uh, no. Like N- no. I I, that, I don't want to, it affects me the more than you know, like. So do I? You should do it. It's like. Uh, uh, no. No. I mean, it's it, it, stronger against them. You probably shouldn't do it. I mean, like it's it's. His sad quest, not Ron's. I mean, but this is like Ron's loyalty quest. It looks like an RPG. You know, you <laughs> understand? You put, you play some Mass You know, loyalty quest, right? It's like that bullshit where you know, get them on your side, give them some strong powers. You know what the fuck I'm saying? Uh, anyway, boy. so fucking and Harry speaks parcel tongue to it because he just needs, knows you need to do that to open it. All of a sudden, yeah, yeah. And then uh, guess yes, what? In the books, I, uh, I fuck if I know. I don't even know. Yeah, how, I'm like, I don't even like, know how he learned in the book. Uh, whatever, but. He yeah, does one, that, it two, opens three. up. They didn't, try to, they didn't try to do that earlier. I'm like, maybe if you just tried opening up and then blasted it with something, it wouldn't work. You guys don't know. You never tried that. But whatever he does it, it opens up. Guess what? There's a soul of Voldemort, and he's talking to Ron with me. Like, I've seen your heart. I know your desires, and I know your weaknesses. I know your fears. You, you, oh, boy, those spiders came by, back. Uh, boy, them spiders. They like, unloved by a mother who preferred her, who, who preferred, preferred a daughter. Son, she, daughter yeah. Unloved by the girl who preferred your friend. And let me tell you, this you, you don't have any escape. Was man, that scene was, was great. I love it <laughs> <laughs> for different reasons than you do. <laughs> but yeah, it shows fucking uh fucking uh, my shit. Hermione and Hermione Harry. Uh, they're Harry. just they like, just oh yeah, they're just smacking out. out. And then all of a sudden they cut back naked. And I hate Ron for this. He destroys lock before he could go to the mm. next part. Which you know what I mean. I was like, fucking bang <laughs> out. Let's do this damn thing. I was like, like, my shit. No. But you know what? What? Okay, like, uh, I actually paused the movie for like a little bit. I was like, you know what? This means that the actor who was playing Harry Potter kissed three girls at this point. Cho, Ginny, and Hermione. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. Go ahead. He, he's, is this Harry Potter and Deathly House or like, or the Harry Potter franchise in a, in a side Harold quest somewhere? Because, man. I mean, that's not that many. Especially for how many years it's been. Are you okay? You shaking. You huh? good? Yeah, I'm good. You're good? You're just like... Yes. <laughs> All those bug bites get to you? No. I just... I don't know. Just shake. 
I just too cold? No. You a fan of? No. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> so. Where are we? Like they're macking out. Ron's seeing this. He's getting angry. And I was like, I'm not. I'm like, cool. This is where Luke picks up. <laughs> this is where it happens. This is what's going on here. Cool. Uh, fucking he runs through the smoke, destroys the locket. I say, fuck you, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> and cool. They destroyed it. They come back. Hermione's like, what happened? Apparently it's, been, it's day now. It's like, how long were you guys out here just chilling? Harry, you need to get to warmth. <laughs> like, that closing lasts for a little bit. It won't last forever. You need to dry off. But he didn't have to do whatever. He's just dry now. Yeah. Um, Magic. And she sees him. She's upset. He's been gone for a week or a month or however fucking long it was. Can you just, just come back? I'm not going to watch the movie again to figure out. So. <laughs> I will. Fucking. Um, what happened? She's upset. She's throwing, she's throwing stuff at him. She's called him an ass. First time I had to her Hermione cuss. And then she's like, where's my Ron, Harry? I don't know. Where's my wand? <laughs> it's like, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> like, why is he up your wand? Doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> well, of course, like, me destroying the locker wouldn't change anything. He's like, yeah, but you stored him like an asshole. Stupid dumb face. You stupid dumb <laughs> face. We don't destroy the locker regardless if you were with us. We probably would have done it sooner. But whatever. So. And then what happens? Uh, she's upset with him. As she should be. So whatever. They eventually make up. And then how did they, um, how did they fucking, um, how did you find us? They did the fucking uh, Illuminator thing. There was a light. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like, you could hear a voice. It was your voice, Hermione, saying my name, and the light showed right here. Right here. Right here. And I was like, this is the cheesiest thing I've Mm. ever heard. Uh Uh-huh. And Harry. But no, it was true. Every word of it. It was true. Yeah, it was still fucking cheesy, though. Yeah. And they're just sitting there. Hermione's not buying it. She doesn't care. She's just mad at him. Like, he's like, hey, just keep saying that to her. Keep going around. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, you need a wand, all right? Cool, I took off a snatcher. They're not that smart. You're going to cut to save that for, like, ten minutes from now. Fuck it up. Put a pin in it. Goddamn, there you go. To... Where we go to next? Uh... He tries to wand out in Gorgio. Where does he go? <laughs> he's fucking... Oh, yeah. What's uh, happening there? What was that? Nothing. <laughs> She's like, we need to talk. I want to go talk to Mr. Lovegood about that symbol, the Deathly Hallows. It popped up here again, and we just keep seeing it. We need to figure out what this thing is. Guess what, people? We got to find more things. It's so many MacGuffins, so much stuff, so, the MacGuffin so the MacGuffin. much time. <sighs> so. How Ron, long does this movie take to make it again? <laughs> what? How long did it take for this? You said it's like a little bit more time between the last one and this one, right? Well, they because they shot both movies back to back. So it's like kind of like how Infinity War's doing it. They did it too. Oh. So that's why. Which is probably why the budget's like kind of milky there. It's like, who knows how much this one costs, how much the other one costs. But it says like 250 for each of them, but whatever. So, Ron's like, cool, I agree. Reminded we should put it to a vote. All those in favor. She's not having it. Fuck off. Anyway, <laughs> so. We got a bunch of love goods, right? You're going to Mr. Lovegood. All right. He, he's like, there. you're not still mad at him? I'm always mad at him. Fuck, and they get there. They all look at the house. Luna. They, cause I don't know why they said Luna's that. Kites? There. I don't know. Luna's not there, though. Yeah, Luna's not here, you man. No, nah, man, Luna's she, not she, here. She'll be around. She'll be around. They I cut was literally the, looking forward to Luna that entire scene, and then, I don't know. Not like, there. He's like legitimately not there. I'm like, oh, whatever. They took her. I'm like, oh, those motherfuckers. Man, if they touch a single hair on my Luna, I swear. On my Luna, he says. <laughs> Luna's great. Luna's probably second best girl. Probably second best girl, yeah. We all know who best girl is, though. Who? Hermione, of course. Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, uh, like you said, she would have got this thing done in like three less, three less movies. So... Motherfucker, we're here. They knock on the door. Miss Lovegood Hunters, who are you? What do you want? Oh, it's me. We talked a few months. They say, say months ago here. I don't know. Months. I don't know what the time frame is. Uh, uh, man. <coughs> we talked at the wedding. Time. Where is it go? They like, cool. They uh, leave. Um, I mean, they go inside. They all sit there very awkwardly. Where's Luna? Oh, she'll they, be along any moment. Yeah. They all sit the tea at the same exact time. That, that I was wondering about this symbol. It's a Deathly Hallows. What's that? A Deathly Hallows, of course. Yeah, my. Everybody said, tell three brothers, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing, right? There is this gap, right? These brothers, they used their wands, made a bridge, death mad, gave them all three things. One, an elder wand, one, a resurrection stone, one, a invis- cloak of visibility. One guy brats about his power, stone gets like killed. Stone of, uh, stone of resurrection, resurrection stone, who gives a shit? Uh, no, the philosopher's stone. No, that's something else. Philosopher's stone was made by Nicholas Flamel. 
Resurrection Stone is something different entirely. Okay, okay, okay. So, Elder, Elder Wand, right? Powerful Wand. You got bragging about it. Got killed. Cool. Someone else brought love back to life. She realized she shouldn't be in this world. Killed herself. He killed himself. Cool. Invisibility Cloak can't find the other guy. He gives it to his son. Now he dies. Cool. That's the story. Mm. What's the moral of the story? Who, who knows? Everyone dies. <laughs> Everyone dies in the end. In the world, world, I wonder what. if he gave the cloak to Peter's... Peter? Harry's... Man. <laughs> Harry's dad, who also gave it to... Harry. Harry. James, that's his name. So, Peter's grandpa. Peter's grandpa. Probably had to... Uh, Who's Peter again? <laughs> <laughs> what, what what's the actor's name who plays Harry? Daniel Radcliffe, Daniel. not Peter at all. Where the hell am I getting Peter from? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm so constantly thinking about Peter Pettigrew. Possibly. No. Yeah. So, here we are. Hey guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, cool. Oh, uh, your tea's getting cold or whatever. I'll get oh, you some more water. Somewhere. Goes downstairs. Doesn't come back. They're like, cool. This guy's, hey, this guy's we fucking should... weird. We need Let's to leave. go. Cool. We're going to leave. Oh, yeah. We need to take off anyway. You forgot the water. What water? For the tea. Oh, yeah. He said, well, we're going to go. You can't leave. You can't leave. See, here's the thing. Carrie, they didn't like what I was writing about you. So, they took her. And I thought maybe this is a way to get her back. Who did? Harry, who the fuck do you think? Who? What the fuck? Who? What have you guys been doing for the last couple of months? You know who. Which is actually weird. This is one time you hear Harry call Voldemort you know who as opposed to Voldemort. In yeah. Film. It's actually, at this point, it's like, Harry, you've been saying Voldemort for like the past six years. Why are you go- switching out to you know who? Like, he's alive again. Cause, cause you've now, met him. I'm guessing now at this point in the movie, it's like he's gotten to the point of if you say no, his no, no. name... No, they appear. Not, not stupid. Because I think he actually does say his name, and then they literally appear. No. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Stupid. Anyway, so they all start blasting the house. These Death Eaters, all right, they come out of nowhere. They start zooming in. And then they're like, pew, 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 pew. Everyone's ducking down. They all try to get to each other, crawl in, like, so they can apparate out. Mr. was like, I brought him here for you. And he gets blasted. I was like, cool, that did nothing for me. And then they just apparate out and then they decide to destroy the house. Every time. It's like, Harry's never in any threat in these movies. It's like, one, because he, they've been told multiple times to the other, like, you can't kill him. I have to be the one to kill him. But they never seem to put that. Like, what if Harry would have make out of there? They would have killed Harry in that house clashing. Then you yeah, all would have died. More, yeah, Voldemort would not be happy. So. So, how did you kill him? House clashing. Show me the spell. <laughs> I... I did this. All right. Reducto. Cool. Reducto. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, cool. They apparate out, and Ron's upset. He's like, that little traitor. He's like, Harry's like, he was only doing that because me. They start doing up the spells, and guess what? The Snatchers are all there. Yeah, cut to that. Yeah, they're real dumb, aren't they, Ron? How'd they know they were going to be there? Like, did you guys just operate in the middle? Of the, like, yeah, no, because they all come up around all the trees like they knew they were going to be there. I know. That, that was like, weird. Also, guys, maybe apparate again? Nah, this is You're right. all very close. Just let's, grab hands and then, poof. All right, this, cool. This, this let's book it. Let's try to outrun them. Like, don't stand right. there after them. And then they just start running. And this is where one of the good, bad scenes happen. Because the music cuts out. And it's this very intense scene. You can only hear, like... Sound effects like when they're blasting spells, you yeah. <laughs> but here's the other bad thing about it they have the ADR of them breathing, like <sighs> <sighs> so. Here's what you're hearing <sighs> it's like, okay, I can go for the but I can't, I don't want to hear the <sighs> I like, I was like, okay, guys, let's, let's calm down, let's calm down with this. But there's so much, Ron. Of course, the first one down, it's like, I thought they were dumb, Ron. What happened? You cannot smart them, apparently. Not that they are very, sm- they're much smarter than you. Maybe they're tracing the wand, who knew. But, fucking Hermione blasts some of them, Harry got some of them, like, you know what? Hermione figured out the situation, oh, we're not making it out of here. Blast Harry in the face. Like Harry him. passes out, and then he sees Voldemort go to Grindelwald, and he's like, you know, I don't have it anymore, and he, he's buried beneath the earth. Dumbledore, he has it. Cool, Voldemort bounces out. Cool. We wake <sighs> up, it, Harry wakes up, and he, he's at the other one, Dumbledore's like, yeah, cool, Harry, we got bigger problems right now. What happened to my face? Oh, that's one of the bigger problems. But he's <laughs> still, still very clearly Harry Potter. I don't like that. Doesn't look any, he doesn't look that much different. <clears throat> yeah, he does not. He just <clears throat> looks melty. So, um, 
Like it's like they literally took like a, a wax mold of Harry Potter and just like melted his face with a freaking hair they got all, like, all right, cool. Let's go with that. They got all three of them. They found the sword of Gryffindor. They, they, the guy looks at. They say, "What's your name?" Vernon Dudley. He looks at it like, "No, Vernon Dudley on here." He's like, "Why, why are you uh, lying to me?" He's like, "I'm not lying. This is wrong." Here are you. Hermione says a name. I forget, and it's just Doesn't like, matter. cool. Um, fucking. Uh, hey, that's not taking three minutes. They look. They look. They like. They can still see the scar too. It's like. Yeah. Like. We let's take them. Some, we. We're not taking them to the They take them to the Malfoy household and. They take him there for Draco to identify, because Draco would know. He's seen Harry Potter before. But or yet, anyone so, else in that house? Yeah. So has Lucius and so has Bellatrix. They all know what <laughs> Harry Potter looks like. So I was like, I don't know why Draco has to be the one to identify him. I mean, like maybe he because Draco the most it. time. Uh, no. But and also Draco. Still a bitch. <clears throat> still, still a bitch. No, he knew. Huh? He knew he didn't say anything though. I know, but he, he, he's still acting like the same bitch from the other... The movies. Dark Lord will kill him and his family at this point. If he gets it wrong. I mean, in anything. He's already displeased with the Malfoy household because of how Lucius failed. You know, remember he had he wouldn't be at that prophecy, and the prophecy broke when Lucius had it. So. That's right, that's right. Yeah, he also went to answer it. And also, uh, freaking... Well, no, never mind. We were discussing in the last video that, hey, the deed's already been done. Doesn't matter if been chosen or not. Yeah, you got, you know, like, a whole prophecy thing. It's not a prophecy thing and stuff. Fucking, okay, here you go, right? Fucking Jason Isaacs, Lucian Malfoy, originally considered not returning for this film, fearing that his character's arrest and imprisonment at the end of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix would mean very little, if any, screen time in the finale. Upon being J.K. Rowling, he begged to be let out of prison. She told him, you're out, chapter one. This immediately convinced him to sign on this film. Cool. So he... Didn't want to come back. He did want to come back, oh, he but did. he was afraid that it wouldn't have meant anything. Like he, like, hey, he didn't know like, when he was, he was coming was... back at any point in the story. So he's like, I didn't. He's like, you're already out. You're already out in this by this point in here. So yeah, he's doing the whole weird whisper thing again. You can't barely hear him. Come <laughs> Imagine if you will. <laughs> if we're the ones to turn in Harry Potter and Dark Lord, all will be forgiven. We'll be back in higher status. I can actually get an actual shave. I can wash my hair again. <laughs> As boy, he man, the Azkaban. He just that time, just <laughs> them cock meat sandwiches in Azkaban did not do him any good. Let me tell you, he was, did not do it He's well. in a desperate need of head and shoulders. Uh, like I don't know. Fucking Bellatrix sees the goddamn story. Like where'd you Pretty get good. that? Yeah, it was like so she had it. It's like that was supposed to be in my vault. Oh, they like oh yeah, she looked like she's. Hit him with a sting. And there's so much stuff in here. Yeah. They sent him downstairs. We're skipping. We're sending him downstairs. Him downstairs. She, she blasts the werewolf. Like, get out of here, all of you. Whips one of them over. She's like, get out. You send the boys downstairs. It's time for us to have a little chat girl to girl. They Boy, get that... square down there. But Peter Pettigrew, he has a wand. They don't. And then fucking, um, you can hear a question to Hermione upstairs. Uh, they go downstairs. Guess who's down there? It's Ollivander, Luna, and this one goblin from the bank. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I haven't seen him in forever, man. I mean, I'm like, oh, hey, is that Goblin? It's from the, the first one. Yeah. Well, technically, it's the first one, but not the first one. The same character, different actors. Yeah. Warwick Davis took the role for him because he wasn't in the movie for a long time. Yeah, yeah. like Warwick Davis. I don't know. Fuck it. Um, so, they found cool. this down there. Harry looks in this little glass piece. He's like, this is a, like, a very odd thing to keep in your sock. It is. His sock, his ankle's bleeding. He has a fucking glass in there. He his looks in there. Bleeding. Help us. Hurt. And then Angel <coughs> Dobby. Yeah, Dobby comes up. Uh, cool. He's like, you can help, you can operate in here. Yeah. Oh, they cut up to uh, fucking. Oh yeah. Uh, her mind's like, Hermione. what? Where'd you get? It? She's like, I didn't steal anything. And they're like, all right, cool. I don't believe you. And, and she they just... start start carving into her. You don't see what it is yet, but she, Hermione's screaming. It must. It fuck, must yeah, hurt. I, okay, so I Mom's thought like, that we need she to was. Get up there. I thought Bellatrix was biting into her arm. Like, what the f- yeah, man? I thought she was that crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? <coughs> so the next time I see her, her mouth, she, she can be like, right? <laughs> so, yeah, fucking, you think Ron, with all, like, how much he cares for Hermione now, all of a sudden, that he'd be the one to charge Peter Pettigrew and go to the door. It's like, also, Peter Pettigrew, not a good, not a good guard. You just stand next to the site. He just walks in, he went like this. It's like, cool, he does that. Y'all can knock it out of his hand, and you take this little fat rat bastard on, hand to yeah. hand. You two can do this, Ron. You're a big guy. You got a dumb face, just headbutt him. He's got a dumber <laughs> face. <laughs> anyway. yeah, a little bit of a dumb face. So, what are we doing here, right? 
They take, they go down there, they take the oh, big yeah, guy upstairs. Oh yeah, they'll be in and out. So well, yeah, they take the big guy upstairs first because Bill Street c- calls him because she's like, why is someone in my vault? Yeah. Then Dobby comes in and it's just like, um, you can tell right now, yeah, take these two to the fucking, some shack near to see whatever. Meet me, meet me upstairs in 10 seconds. Yeah, cool. He takes Luna and Alexander out and then Peter Berger comes back downstairs. I guess he heard something or whatever. I don't know what they're saying next to the story. He doesn't walk in. He gets blasted in the back. He says, Al falls over. Cool, that's a good use of this time. <clears throat> Which one of you gets the wand? Uh, Ron got the wand. Yeah, Ron did because Ron just immediately He's charged in. Yeah, cool. He they cut through her. She's questioning why someone there involved. They cut over to Hermione. She has mud blood written to her arm. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of like once again, I like the whole Nazi thing, like the tattoos. Like, yeah, you I, I saw that symbolism. Like, yeah, yeah. They boy, did. they went there. I mean, yeah. Uh, so also very weird. Um. So. So. Bellatrix. Uh-huh. Uh, like, we're going to cut, not just the Harry Potter thing, but Bellatrix, Lucius, and Malfoy are all acting like they don't know who Ron and Hermione are. Like, Bellatrix has seen them. Yeah. So it's like, come on. Lucius, you know, these two, who are they hanging out with all the time? Harry Potter and Potter. Yeah. Who's this other random guy whose face we can't identify right now? I was like, who do you mm-hmm. think it is? I don't know. The, the plot just demanded for them to be dumb for that moment. Uh, it's like, I it's, thought there was going to be a whole lot smarter than that, but just for the sake of the movie, like, oh, let's just play it on the safe side. Like, all right, I guess you guys are just going to be them. But so, the bad guys can't be smart all the time. I mean, they should be that. So, anyway, so we are gone. They f- fucking charge them. They disarm someone. They get a fucking wand. Lucius goes for his wand, realizes he doesn't have a wand. He only has the handle and gets blasted. <laughs> Take that like, he does that, like, t- oh, boom. <laughs> he blasts it. <laughs> Take the ones they're black. They're fighting back and forth because they had disarmed Bellatrix, and that's how he got. Um, that's how Harry got a wand. Yeah, and that's just why she only has her knife. Yeah, uh, yeah. So they're all blasting back and forth, and she says, "All right, everyone, stop." She has a knife to her mind. He's throat. They stop fighting. They drop their wand. Draco gets them. And they, so and they say, "Oh, look, it is Harry Potter." Cool. Call him. Lucius says the whole. Wait, that's why you don't wear double long sleeves. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. They, they, guess they, what? They, 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 they look up. Dobby's up there. He's unscrewing the chandelier. Yeah, okay, what's up? And in classic trait, which I never get from any bad guy, when you have the hostage under a chandelier, mm. when it's falling, they always push the hostage away from them and they Take dive the backwards. Hostage. Yeah, just do this. <laughs> just go that way. So that way, you still have your power. You that you, you hit off the power that you had in the scene. They, uh... In the chaos, they fucking charge at Draco. They take the wand from him. <laughs> I know. I'm like, really? Really, really? I mean, come on, Draco. You, I know you're. Uh. Listen, Draco playing a long game. He was like, I really don't want any part of this. But if they just take him, it'll be over. Do you have to I mean, at this point, Draco just would just be like, and <laughs> Draco would be like, ah! I I don't know. So. I like him in like an earlier movie because he was like an actual antagonist bully asshole. Now listen, he's just like listen, a little weird I'm, I'm telling you, they're doing so much wrong with Draco's character. Anyway, so they like, you could kill me. I wasn't looking to kill. Mostly Man, injure or, or maim. <laughs> like, like, and then Narcissa tries to determine he disarms her with a snap of his like, finger. He's Daniel's dad right out of her. Like, <laughs> yeah, How dare you take what she's the wand? Dolby is a free elf. Cool. I have no master. Dude, Dude I, I have I, no master. I could have wrote that line right there for Dobby. It's like, Dobby has no master. Dobby's a free elf motherfucker. And then... They, they all get the apparate and then... And then a the slow mo. I'm like, okay, you know what, Bellatrice? Smart? Yeah, I, I see what he's going for, but... What if... What if? That would have hit Harry Potter. You would have been in the no-no zone but they with wouldn't, the Dark they Huh? They wouldn't know. They would have just found Harry Potter with a knife in him one day. Mm, well, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know. Maybe he got mugged by someone. Who knows? Mm. Bill's even like, mm, mm, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know. Cool, but it goes through. And guess what? Everyone, we're all happy. Yay, we got Hermione. Yeah, and then Hermione's this is, the, this is the part where And then I, it's like, oh, like, look, Dolby is hit. He's yeah, like, and, this, and this is where I have a sad. I don't, feel, you had so, a sad? I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. That's what Dobie's doing right now. And he's yep. like, hey, uh, Harry, young, Hermione, something in your bag. Please, there's got to be something to help. Hermione doesn't have her bag. Remember, Harry, all your shit got taken. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, like, uh, everything got taken out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. You okay? No, my arm hurts. 
Muscle. I don't know. Beer. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so yeah, Dobie's dead. Yeah. And then he wants to give him a proper proper burial. burial. No magic. No it's magic. like, do we have time for this, Terry? I guess we do. Cool, we're doing this now. We're in proper room. Oh. Nice. So they bury him and then cut the void. Yep, Voldemort, he's in Dumbledore's grave. He takes the wand, Very blasts the sky. Grave. Cool. Guess what, everyone? You sat through two and a half mm. hours of setup. No actual in. <laughs> no actual emotional climax. You just kind of... Just, it, 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 just, it just kind of happened. Yeah. So here's We're the not thing. Sad, like, you know, like on a, a real down note. Not like I mean, kind of in it, on a little uh, happy note. It's like, all right, keep thinking Dobby's about dead. Voldemort's got the wand. All right. Cool. In scene. You feel much more differently about this ending than I do. Because here's the thing, right? Yeah. We've seen Dobby in one other movie. Yeah. Chamber of Secrets. Yeah. And, that was and it. now we're supposed to feel really emotional invested in this character. I was happy he was back. I'm happy he's back too, but have him play a little bit more of a role. Have him show up in the other movies like he's supposed to. Or something. This is a problem with doing this franchise as the books were going, because they didn't know where they were going. They didn't know where she was going with it. And somebody's telling me she didn't know either, because she changed some stuff from her original plan too, but we'll get into that at the end of this series. Because we're going to put a pin in that Dobby Death suit, and I have a better scene written already in my head. Dobby death scene. Dobby death scene. Put a pin in that. Put a pin in that. Does he come back? I'm saying put a pin in it because I have a better scene in my head. I've already written mm. it out. I'm not saying Dobby's coming back. Dobby's dead as dicks. <sighs> All right, let me How dead is he? My pin for it. Cadaverific. Cadaverific. <laughs> <laughs> so. so fuck that it. was. Let me Harry... see if I have any more Easter eggs for you before we have to sting. That was Harry time. Potter and the Deathly Hallows. This part is the one. first Deathly is... Hallows. Is not All a place. Right. It is the theme. I will just go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So anyway, here. So yeah. First, this is the first of the films to have J.K. Rowling on as a producer, which I find very weird that they didn't have that the entire time. But she's actually the actual producer. As a, a producer, yeah. Yeah, the fucking... Well, what if you found her big girl pants this time? And like, hey, fucking, I'm producing uh, this. My name is on it. John Williams, who composed the scores to the first three films, expressed interest in returning to the score of Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows, but was unable to due to the scheduling conflict, so it was just a tease. Uh, and, uh, why even put that fact in there if he didn't even contribute? I don't well, like you said, he was considering. Just, he was like, hmm, maybe I could. Yeah. Did he do it in the last movie? No. He didn't come back for anything. Because we, we literally we need a never score. hear the. Da, 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 da. We don't hear that at all anymore ever since like his first two scores. No, like, first two movies? First three. I mean, like, you heard some. You heard like a version of in four. I'm not sure if something in five, but besides that, no. Um. Fuck, uh, how do you say this name? Mm. Stanislav Yanevsky. Got it. Bam. Russian. Yeah, uh, he he did return for his role as Victor Crumb for the wedding scene. But oh. the scenes were cut from the final film. God although, there, although there were promo pictures of him dancing with Emma Watson. And also there's behind the scenes footage with him. Victor Crumb, you know, Victor Crumb, Hermione, they had that whole thing going. So he shows up and dances with her at the fucking uh, wedding. Which you think would have been there? You're like, yeah, because Ron is sitting there on the side just staring at her. It's like, why not have Victor Crumb seen there? Why just have him looking at Hermione doing nothing? Why have any of this movie? Well, why? why? Did, did he even get paid for his time? Oh, yeah, you get paid for your time there. You just didn't get used. So. Man, that, that must suck. Like, hey, we're bringing you back. You're doing the scene. Now, all right, cool. People's going to see me in my awesomeness just for like this little bit. But for time. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> we had to do all the other things that didn't matter. Yeah, I, so this film. I would right? just be so done. Like, no, don't ask me to come back ever again. Well, cool. There's only one more movie after this. They weren't going to. <laughs> I know, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, you wouldn't want to. Do, you don't. You don't want to cut ties with Warner Brothers. That's one of the biggest studios out there. That's like you trying to cut ties with Disney. That'd be stupid of you. Well, not stupid <laughs> of you, but you know, you a career move yeah. is not the best thing in the world unless yeah. there's like there's some shady shit happening. Yeah. But yeah, so that's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part One: The Search for the MacGuffins, the Electric Boogaloo. Some might say. So I'm guessing in part two they find the things and stuff. Well, they, they, they have to. They have to because they. I did. remember I watched the movie a long How time ago. How many more ago. did they find here? One. Uh, huh? Oh, also Ron says what a really weird thing. Imagine just three to go. It's like four. Ron, do you know how to count? We destroyed three. There are seven of them. There are four more now. The book, the diary. The mom. I mean, I mean, okay, yeah. I don't the, the, the diary. The diary. No, no, I'm, we're naming all. Oh, okay. Diary destroyed. Diary. Okay, from his mother's secrets. His mother's ring destroyed, and now the how now did the ring get destroyed? Dumbledore destroyed it. 
Remember, that's why his hand was fucked up. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because that's how he got the disease, And then right? the... Yeah, yeah. That's why his arms are like little raptors. Oh. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers. Sorry. Spoilies. <laughs> Nothing. Spoilies. And then they destroyed the locket here. They so, fixed the locket. So you say, oh, yeah, three to go. It's like, Ron at seven. There, there are four more to go. I mean, I know you're happy and all. Yeah, they found the fucking sword of Gryffindor. Yay. But then they lost it and found it and got it again. So, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, they need to figure out where all the other ones are in this next two-hour movie. What if the sword is also a horcrux? Oh, then they're fucked because you can't destroy it. Because <laughs> it only takes it stronger. It's only been making it stronger. But it wouldn't. It can be. Tom Riddle was a Slytherin and the sword only appears to worthy Gryffindors. Ah, yeah, so, right. Yeah, okay, it can okay, be. Okay. He could never find it if he wanted to. Okay, okay. So, Which so, may raise the question, how did Bellatrix have it in her? Maybe she, did she, t- she must have taken it out. She took it off of Dumbledore's office then, right? That's where she didn't put it in her fucking vault. That's probably what she did, right? Okay, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And then she was actually from a house of Gryffindor. No, she was Way Slytherin. back when. She was Slytherin. Okay. Slytherin. But she just took it. So, yeah. There we go. Harry Potter and Hell is part one. A lot of setup. Not a lot of payoff. Not a lot of money. Yeah, a lot of not a lot of much happening. Boy. Um, mm, I can't wait to get to this next movie and finish it off because I only saw the movie once when it first came out a long time ago. One summer. I enjoyed it. Oh, it's a pretty good movie. I like the way how the movie what? was put together. I, don't, I can't say it was a good Harry Potter what? movie because I didn't watch any of the other Harry Potter movies. Well, I don't know is how you did if you've seen the last one, how you didn't know Dumbledore died. Because like, I have forgot. Fucking, <laughs> I have forgot. Fucking half look Prince. He texts me. No! <laughs> I was like, did you not? I was like, he's like, what happened? He's like, did you watch the movie? I was like, yeah, dude, I watched it when it came out and I finished the book in like 2005. Yeah, I know what happened. <laughs> this movie took everything. I hate everything. Yeah. Like, but I'm, I'm actually I, a little I, more torn like, up I keep, I keep saying it, but I guess some things work better in different mediums. Maybe this one would have worked better as like a, maybe a Game of Thrones style medium where you just have episodes so you have longer time to go over things and have emotional connection with these characters because like Dobby's death in the books it hurt I cried when Dobby died in the books because I had seen Dobby other times and they were smaller but he was there and they had spent more time from in that book here like, he oh, just hey, pops he, up uh, <laughs> like oh hello but I'm just over here just serving some tea just you know I'm just free elbow I'm just, just here I'm here, just here. there and that, that scene is emotional it's dragged out too it's like that is sad like I think one of the chapters in the last one is just dedicated to Dobby like his scene on Diagon Alley is just his so yeah I, of course I might be misremembering things it's, it was been a very long time since I read these books but here, I'm just like, thought he's dead. I was like, no. It, <laughs> no! I mean, you might as well have it hit the goblin. It was like, well, he's dead. Or Ollivander. It's like, Ollivander's dead. It's like, I've not spent any time with the characters here. You've, the, there are four characters there, three really, because they're not going to kill Harry, that if they had hit someone there, would have been more of a emotional impact to me. But we'll get back to that later. After my scene I had written in my head. Yeah, so, I, I yeah. Was just, I was just hoping that it just wasn't like... So, I really was hoping that it was not Hermione, but she, she seemed fine. Though. Like, well, yeah, think, she, like, she already went through her torture. She's fine. They were, they were going to torture her and then kill her. Yeah, I'm like, come on. <laughs> it's like, that's insult to injury. I mean, not, not kill, but like at least like have it like stabbed in her somewhere. Just like she's hurting. Like she needs like, she needs a spell to help heal her. But like she knows all the spells and no one else does. Like, I don't know. I Apparently just, I have to save Dobby. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, fucking... Who are the villains of this movie? Because Voldemort shows up for a scene and he's in the background searching for MacGuffins himself. Everyone's on the hunt, man. See, everyone who's not the team, everyone who wasn't the three or the Order of the Phoenix, they're a goddamn villain. They're an antagonist. But I would have to say, the big overarching antagonist... What's his entire name? Man, there is no overarching. Just... Life. No. Life is an enemy. All right. So as we figure that out, we're going to go over the rankings for the villains. We're going to go from bottom to top. Bottom to top. All right. For fucking 
Number six, we got Professor Quirrell slash Voldemort SS. And number five, we got Peter slash Dementors POA. Number four, or, or, or I don't know why I said that. Oh, number four, we got Tom Riddle COS. That's Chamber of Secrets for you initiated. Number three, we got Dolores slash Vold or the Phoenix. We got <laughs> there it is. Bold. <laughs> we got. Still funny. We got number two, Voldemort slash Death Eaters, Goblet of Fire. And number one, we got Death Meeting. <laughs> There it is. Death what? Death, death meat. Uh, I was writing death eaters and it directly to death meat. So oh, I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not changing the <laughs> list. So, wait, that was number one, right? Yeah, it's number one. From so, uh, Half Blood Prince, because they killed Dumbledore. That was like, all right, that's good, really big. That's some pretty big villain move right there. So, where are we putting anyone anywhere in this one? Anyone, anyone can't be it. We got no, 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 who are choosing and thing, where we're right? putting? And I don't. Okay, here's the thing. I don't know who will be like the main villain of this because we got Voldemort, right? We got some Death Eaters, but we also got the Snatchers. I think the Snatchers count. Uh, do we got? Do we? I don't know. Do they count? They're just kind of there. But I mean, so it's Peter Pettigrew. Everyone was just because he got Peter. There. Did you? Okay, now we have a third here. Or uh, uh, have, um, what the fuck? Got fucking pri- <laughs> prisoner of Asban. Asban? No, no, I was correcting. <laughs> <laughs> is Peter Pettigrew a villain? The rat? Yeah. Of that movie. He was there for all of what, 12 seconds? Sir, you're the one who argued that he was. I said he wasn't, but the mentors were. you like, not Peter Pettigrew. So that's all we can find. He was there to be there. So I, I, guess, like I said, no, I'm talking about in Prisoner in of Azkaban. Of, yeah, I think he was there to be there. Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah. Was he I, a villain? Because he's the one. That run it out his parents, right? Yeah. 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 He, he was like, you no, know, behind the scenes, he was the rat. He was on the map. and Yeah, but he didn't do anything. He's not a villain. Yeah, he's he just kind of there. there. He's like, yeah, he ran out his parents. Yeah, before All fucking, those. before Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> like, if I'm back then, definitely funny. If they do a prequel movie about Peter Pettigrew and his uninteresting adventures mm-hmm. as a rat. For that movie, there. I don't think he's a villain. But That's like, what I said, yeah, but he's on the list, and we're not going back and changing yeah, it. But I I see, this is why we needed a third. So you had that two to three. Yeah, I don't think he was a villain. See, also, if it was the mentors, would have raised him up the bar. Yeah. But, you know, Peter Pettigrew, he drags him down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so this one, right? We got Voldemort and we got Death Eaters. And we know we're going to throw a snatcher in there, too, just make it a little bit different because we got Voldemort, Death Eaters, and, like, four other ones in here. <laughs> so where are we putting... I'll probably just say, like, okay. Where are we putting Voldemort, Death Eater, Snatchers? Just the entire group? All, uh, every fucking person. I'm just going to say that the Death Eaters where are we themselves. Putting, where are we putting, Death Eaters are like the more reoccurring. Where are we putting, where are we putting Voldemort slash Death, I mean, Death, What's fucking wizard death Nazis. Meets. Death, death wizard, wizard Nazis? Wizard Nazis, that's what we're doing. Wizard Nazis. That's Those, what, all of them. The Snatchers, the whole ministry, they, they we're doing Voldemort slash Wizard Nazis. Where are we putting the Death Eaters? They are Wizard Nazis as well. Oh, okay, okay so. <laughs> they are the SS, some might say. Yeah. <laughs> It's a reoccurring nuisance in this movie. Here's where I'm putting them, right? I say last. They're You're late. saying dead last? I say, uh, they're dead not doing okay, much. Who's I'm dead, there. Who's dead last right now? It's, it's uh, Professor Quirrell slash Voldemort. Oh, the freaking head? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he's dead last. Hey, you know what? I think I'm right there with you. They really don't do <laughs> they much. Don't really do anything. They don't do anything in this movie. They kind of interrupt the they wedding. Did, yeah, they yeah. do some wedding crashers, which we figure out they're not even successful at because... We, he still oh, got on, we did miss something. The train scene. Remember? Oh! Ne- Neville's there. He stands up like, losers, he's not here. It's like, one, losers, he's not here. Two, why is Ginny still going to school? Ginny is there we're sitting across from Neville. Neville. I was like, yeah. your house got attacked a few weeks ago. What are you doing? Hell no, I'm not going to school. Oh, also, Server Snape is headmaster. You hear that on the radio yeah, at Hogwarts. Yeah. yeah, so that's something else we missed there, too. He has Death Eaters there just doing the Dark Lord's bidding and whatever. So, yeah, we missed that part. Nah. So, yeah, Voldemort splash, splash, slash, space, uh, space, not the wizard, space, <laughs> wizard, not <laughs> I'm getting Star Wars mixed up in this now because Ooh, we got, we got space balls. General space Hux. Balls. We got General Hux there. Man, we ain't found shit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, what are you doing here? Also, in this movie, Harry Potter, we ain't found shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I say dead last. I'm, I'm thinking dead last too. Collier, you got. Well, it doesn't matter. You're outvoted anyway. But yeah, where would you put them if you? In if this I list? were to. 
probably be if like want, if you want second to, to last. Because right. they're, cause above, they're just, above Fisher Quirrell in Spongebob. <laughs> they're just like the annoying kid who just keeps poking you, telling them to stop, and they won't. That's not really much. I mean, Quirrell did more than that, though. He did. He When he killed a unicorn. And two, he nearly got the Sorcerer's Stone. And three, okay, he, no, deceived, yeah. he deceived all of them. Yeah. He had everyone yeah, to see. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm putting him dead last. last. All right. Voldemort slash Space Knots. Uh, space Fuck. <laughs> Again, I keep doing it, Voldemort. It's been a long. Listen, that's why I don't like doing these on fucking Sundays because I had to do a very long work night and then have to come wake up and do this. Which also, but because that fucking half foot prince fucked up, <laughs> I had to stay up and redo things, which means I had even less time to sleep. So listen, that's why we need the little pushwa here. I probably should have told you like at the moment of where the audio started. I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> I just click, 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 click until I can hear anything. I was like, cool, that's weird. An hour and one minute in for some reason. Whatever. Fucking Yikes. flash. Yeah, yeah. Nazi wizards? Wizard Nazis? Space Nazis. Which one? Space wizards. Wizard Nazis. To WWW. Nazi wizards. I'm going to Nazi wizards. Nazi wizards. You're a Nazi Harry. All right. Bam. Last. I'm not reading the list over again. If you can't keep up, that's too bad. All right, now. So where is this move going to be placed? Oh. Probably right there at the bottom, too. <laughs> I say last. But out there. Because Sorcerer Stone is last, right? No, no. Remember. Chamber Secret is last. Where? There it is. I've done more notes on it. All right, so from bottom to top, we got Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secret S. We got Harry Potter in the Sorcerer's Stone. That's number five. Number four is Harry Potter in the Order of the Phoenix. Number three, Harry Potter in the... Half Blood Prince, number two, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and number one, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Dude, I think I might watch that movie again. <laughs> <laughs> to watch that one, to watch out this one. All right, so where are we putting Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part One? See, I was thinking here because here's the thing, right? Chamber Sorcerer's Se- Star and Chamber Secrets. Still a whole lot of nothing. But the effects of this one hold up better than that. So you've got to the give effect, it... It's okay, more contemporary. Effects, yes, yeah, true. It's but closer, still, it's kind of like, like a... It's almost like a weird... Same feel. Okay, no, no, no. Also, Chamber, Chamber Se- Secrets Se- is so long. It's, still <laughs> much, it's so much longer than this. It's two hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> it's been so long. Yeah, but this one's like, oh, it's so long, but still nothing is happening. Nothing and happened now, in that one. Hermione figured it out halfway through the movie. We have to sit through what these two idiots figured out in Chamber of Secrets. She had already figured this damn thing out. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been an hour and a half movie if it was just Hermione. <laughs> um, Which is why she's the best girl. Okay. And Luna's second best. I know. I'm going to go. Fucking. I say after Sorcerer's Stone. After Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah. Yeah. Bottom three. Yeah. So it would be number. Top three of the bottom. It would be number six? six. No, five. Six. Six? six? Sorry, we've already done six months. I'm going to be number five. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going by years. That's why. <laughs> number seven. It's number seven. <laughs> <laughs> years. <laughs> Number seven. What the fuck are you going on? Years. <laughs> All right. So we're p- you're putting it above Chamber of Secrets, below Sorcerer's Stone. Wait, wait. I put it above right. uh, Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> above Chamber of Secrets, below Sorcerer's Stone. So in between there. Above Sorcerer's Stone. I I said <laughs> below Sorcerer's Stone. I said above a- Chamber of Secrets, below Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, but my placement is above Sorcerer's Stone. Okay. I'd it- say above Chamber. Uh, like right between the last two. All right, yeah. okay, here's how we're going to vote. Who thinks this movie is buried in Chamber of Secrets? Raise your hand. Is it buried in Chamber of Secrets? I say it is. Wait, wait, wait. Chamber of Secrets. Is the movie that we just watched, Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows, You say one. Chamber of Secrets, I think Sorcerer Stone. For okay, some reason. I don't know why you think it. Is it Chamber of Secrets the one where the cat The basilisk. Dies? The one oh. where you talk about it, he stabbed the basilisk, remember? Mm. So, Collier, one At more least time. this climax was a whole lot better than... Oh, oi. Oi. Is this one better than Chamber of Secrets? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, cool. Is it better than Sorcerer's Stone? Yes. Do you agree? I agree. Okay. Is it better than Order of the Phoenix? No. Negative. Okay. I, I stopped at Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> I was going to put it there. So the ranking stands. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the one Pen- uh, Penelope? Cruz? Who? P- Penelope. What's the, the ghost. Oh. Morning Myrtle. Oh, I don't know. I call her Penelope. 
Penelope. Yeah, I don't know who <laughs> <laughs> That's her name? That she's in Chamber Seekers and she's in Goblet of Fire. Oh, okay. Boy, you're not seeing a ghost. Mm. Listen, you could fuck a ghost. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No! Where would it go? <laughs> yes. Through. Does it fall through? Do you feel it? <laughs> I think it's like in Do the they air. feel it? Well, apparently. Ah, that's true, huh? Wait, huh? Apparently she does. Yeah. Well, you don't think she does. I don't know, but she was trying to get her fuck on with fairy, so that was weird. Like, you're like 80 years I'm, older than him. I'm like, uh, no, stop moaning, stop. Stop moaning. <laughs> stop. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was some fairy to say, like, hey, do you know why they call me Moni Myrtle? Oh, okay. I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> so here it Did is. Did they explain how she died? Ba- uh, yeah. They, oh, okay. She looked at the basilisk. And she was, <gasps> Dad tried to figure out where the fucking uh, chamber secret was. Oh, okay. No one figured out. I was in this bathroom where the girl died. It's like, maybe we should search here. Maybe we should set up a crime scene. Nah. Fuck this. That's why. Fucking hashtag shut down Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the ranking stand. We didn't even have a scene at Hogwarts at all. We had it on a train, so that's fine. Ranking stand. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. S. Secret S. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Number yes. six. Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part One. Number five. Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix. Number four. Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. Number three. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Number two. And Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Number one. Something tells me it's Goblet of Fire gonna come out the reigning champion of this whole list. Me too. I mean, there's so much things are happening <coughs> and it's moving. Yeah. Hey, it's a two hour, it's a two hour long movie, but things that happen is like, all right, cool, cool. So you know we're cool. doing this, right? I'm pretty sure I said at the beginning, but once again, we're doing this up to the lead up to uh, Death, Grindelwald uh, or Grindel- Crimes of Grindelwald yeah. or whatever. So yeah, and that's gonna be something we have to go watch that day of because of this guy's schedule. Who his? Yeah, his. Yeah. So him. when are you done? And December thirty first. I thought it was only this month. It was. They extended it. But then, yeah. So that not only cuts into this. Also, when we have to start doing the MCU in a review. MCU? We're doing MCU next. Jesus Christ. That's a lot. <laughs> I have all the That's, movies already, so I'm fine. Really? Really? Like over 22 I, movies? Well, I don't. I still have to get Ant-Man and the Wasp, but without that, I have all of them. Jesus. That's going to be a lot. <laughs> Wait, are we starting Incredible Hulk? Incredible Hulk's in there. No, but no, not. No, Iron Man's first. I thought Incredible Hulk was. Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk came out a month after. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, shit. I, didn't I know. remember that because I remember seeing those two back. We'll get to that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I teased you. Teased <laughs> Just like this movie, a big tease and no payoff. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. Um, everyone, hey guys, we got a Patreon here. If you want to come support us on Patreon, do it, please. We need money. <laughs> if we can make gangbusters like Warner Brothers on Patreon, we'll be fine. I'm just saying. Gangbusters? Gangbusters. Listen, they make a lot of money on this. I'm going to have some stats when we do Crimson Grindelwald about the whole Wizarding World in total, not including oh, the park. Hmm. Did you just say, I don't like Cheez Its? Yeah. I'm going to eat them out of spite now. Oh. I mean, hey, to each their own. Sorry. But uh, yeah, I guess that was. <laughs> All right, we're done, right? Yeah. We're good. Yeah, okay. we're good. Okay, cool. I just got hungry. Yeah, you guys want some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting mad at slapped it. I, yeah, I, I was upset. <laughs> but anywho, that was, uh, you know, the Hollis part one. Best so you guys, part of this movie. <sighs> the soul coming out of the Hurricanes. <laughs> and they, they were... Just her, Harry and Hermione just macking out there. Just, I was like, why can't it just be all the movies? All the what? All, all, the, the, all, the, all the movies. movies. The also, whole... Cho's still just nowhere to be found. She just got... Did they explain what happened to Cho Who? in the books? No. Who? Cho. Who's Cho? Cho Chang. The one, the one that... he had a crush on. The one that read it out? The, the, uh, read yeah. it out because she was poisoned. Well, oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah. We're like they, 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 she just disappeared, right? Just... Yeah. Did you read the books? No, I don't okay. read it. Cool. She's dead. I think she's gone. Yeah, she just disappeared. Yeah, she just disappeared. Not in the movies. I don't remember what happened to her in the books. I'm not sure if she said, like, she left. They uh, took her to ask him that they, they did her not. Off. And was, right, we're, done. we're done. That was part one. End it. See you guys next time. <laughs> we're definitely Hallows part Stay two. Stay awesome. The finding of the MacGuffins. Thank you for joining us in this video. If you want to find us online, you can always find me with one name on all platforms, Credo Zargeta. You can find Isaiah at... On Instagram and Twitter at Isaiah Pitcher and Jelani at... Jelani mm-hmm. underscore P on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. And of course, follow Fighting Wombat on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, Stardust, and Patreon. 
$1 tier for poll access, $5 tier for early access, and $10 for full and exclusive access. And links to all this will be in the description below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to get notifications when our new videos are up. And we see you guys in the next video, but in the meantime, stay awesome.